Good morning, manic Saturday morning here at So Street, manic manic morning. Um, yeah, we literally just had a, a mini panic then saying, hang on, we're going live now and everyone was running around. I think Faye's literally just crawled underneath the camera to get out of the way because she's um, busy, busy cutting all patterns and doing all sorts. But um, I hope you're having a less manic Saturday morning. Hopefully still in bed, cup of tea, ready for our early bird. Um, I know that we're live on Facebook now, so drop us a message. Come say hello. It's I love reading, especially at the end of the show, going through all the messages. And uh, do definitely come and say hello. So let's start before we talk about Faye's first hour. Let's introduce the early bird. And whenever we do fabric bundles like this, it is very, 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 very popular. So you're getting three half meter pre-cuts of your beautiful mix of fabrics. Now they've got this beautiful model effect and you're saving two pounds. So remember if you're multi-buying on this, they already come pre-cut into half meter pieces. Let me show you because this is gonna be one of the fastest ever early birds. There is not enough stock of this. Do check out now as soon as you can. The colors together look amazing, don't they? So that's your blue. I'm gonna put that there. This is your lovely pink. I love pink and orange, it's my favorite color combination. It's like a really good clash almost, isn't it? And then that's your pink, half a meter. Um, bright pink with that beautiful mottle effect. And then the orange is this one. This is called tangerine, half meter, with that lovely soft, spray for £9.97. Check out now. Check out as soon as you can. This one is the best selling mix of fabric actually. This is the most popular mix of fabric colour and you can see why can't you? All three half metre pieces for just £9.97. That is a £2 saving for your early bird special today. Definitely worth stocking up whilst you can. Remember, you've already paid your post in packaging if you're getting involved now, and then you're done for the whole day. Only one PMP across the whole day, and that's whether you're buying on the website or whether you're purchasing on air. So absolutely, check out nice and early. You can come back and check out as many times as you want. Still only paying that one PMP. I think that is about to sell out. Do make sure you are checking out. As Pardon? Do make sure you're checking out as soon as you can. Saving of two pounds for less than 10 pounds. This is one of the most limited early birds that we've done of these fabric bundles. I know how popular that tangerine is though, so be aware we've bundled as many as we possibly can. Peacock, that beautiful blue. See, these will all, all work great together, but um, if you're blending them in with some of your designer fabrics, if you're using them with uh, any of your, your pattern fabrics, it's gonna make those go a really long way, but yet still adds interest. It's not just a solid. You've got that lovely mottle effect. Um, loads of you checking out on this one this morning. Do make the most of it as soon as you can. Also, um, what else was I gonna tell you? I can't remember. My brain's gone today. Saturday morning brain. Um, I can't remember what I was gonna tell you. Liam's in today. Liam's upstairs today, I live so anything could happen. Can you hear him? Stamping his feet, he's upstairs. We've got Kat in the gallery and we've got lovely Faye who's gonna be joining me with some dressmaking tips. So if you've got any questions about dressmaking, if you've got any messages for Faye, put them on the Facebook chat because um, if you're on our Sewing Street TV Facebook page, you'll see it probably as the first post actually, um, is, is the watch live. It'll be right at the top. Uh, Glennis said, good morning. Good morning, Glennis. Coffee's there ready, up waiting for the early bird, amazing, very exciting. Thank you, Glennis. Um, Pauline, lovely to see you as well. It's not very often that I'm on a, a Sunday morning. Who's that, sorry, Pauline, did you say? From sunny Cornwall, is it sunny today? Oh, lovely, I, I, it was, I don't know what, what the weather's like here. Liam's looking out the window saying, it looks quite sunny here, actually. Oh, good, 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 good. This morning, when the last time I was outside, it was pitch black. It was so dark this morning, wasn't it? Very dark. It's getting wintry. I've got my winter boots on today. Cat's not wearing flip flops, which is a first this year. She's like, I'm having to wear my uh, my pumps. Had to put my pumps on against my will. Um, yeah, she's really annoyed about that because she's refusing to, for it to be October. Um, not October. 
Where are we? September nearly. September. Sorry, I'm wishing away September. It just feels like we've been robbed of our summer this year, doesn't it? Even though I know that we've had lovely weather, but Kat's like, I haven't worn my fit flops out enough. So she keeps wearing them. Anyway, do make sure you're checking out on today's early bird. Half a metre of each of your prints. They're absolutely beautiful. Half the stock gone. Um, remember, as I say, it's now really, 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 really limited. That will sell out before the end of this hour, I predict. So be quick. £9.97, that's a £2 saving, just because, just because. Okay, before we get Faye on, let's have a look through the pattern and the fabrics that she's going to be using. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love the tunic behind me, it's so beautiful. It is a really lovely dress. And we've got so, sorry, I don't know what this little fold is. I'll sort that out. Um, we've got... Right, I'll go for this pattern. This is the larger one, but we've got it in two different sizes. So we've got from extra small, small and medium, and then this one is large to extra large. And look at how versatile it is, whether you want to make it a maxi dress, whether you want to do it like, like Faye has here, this almost like tunicky style dress. It's beautiful. Um, you've also got this lovely one. Let's... Um, have a look at this a bit closer because you can see all of the different options of panels with pockets. I'm thinking a bit of a contrast would look lovely here. Colour panelling looks lovely. We've got some opportunities to do that as well with some of our fabrics. Some colour blocking I know is so in right now. So you've got four different options at 9 99 plus your size guide on the back. Now have a look um, on the description on our website and you can get a, a closer look in at your, you know, what fabrics it requires, all of the different sizes. Now remember this one is these sizes here from large, extra large and XXL, which is from size 16 to 26. So you just need to be looking at those. We'll go for the um, these sizes in, in a moment. The maximum I think size you're going to need is two and a half meters, but we'll talk to Faye if there's a certain size that you want to um, it, to find out about let us know but it's got a bit more of a breakdown of all of the different options so that's just 9.99 very very versatile oh glennis has got her early bird brilliant absolutely brilliant it's really limited today so do check out as soon as you can now the smaller so these are sizes four to 14 these are sizes four to 14 which is extra small to medium I think you can get away with a lot with a caftan. It's not too fitted, is it? It's quite a loose, loose garment. $9.99. And then you, there you go. You've got your finished garment measurements um, and your finished body size when you're adding your ease. And then luck are all of these lovely, lovely options. I really like this sleeve. That's really nice, isn't it? Remember, if you think about it, you've got one, two, three, four different outfits here, haven't you? So £2.50... Um, a, a design really which is phenomenal value of course you can reuse these absolutely what I would do is I'd trace them out obviously you've got your um, your pattern paper in there and your instructions plus we're going to see fake construct it on the show just £9.99 for your pattern now of course we need some fabric now let's start with our brand new ones this one is the one that Faye's using it's absolutely gorgeous it's brand new in today um we've never seen this one before Liam would you be able to find out what the composition of this is I think it's a viscose two and a half meters which is enough to do the largest size for 39 pounds and 49 pence and the colors are absolutely beautiful we're going to see this we are going to see this more with Faye but it's beautiful yeah 100% viscose with that amazing, amazing ochre as well. I love that. It's quite autumnal. You love the, the pink one. I love the ochre one. It's so silky soft. It's so, so beautiful. Uh, and you're getting a lot of fabric there. Maybe if you've got a different pattern in mind even, now's your chance to get a great amount of fabric for your stash. £39.99, uh, sorry. What are you thinking? A bright pink pair of tights. Oh, my word. I know what you mean. I would go for more like um, a, a deep uh, tan sort of pair of tights, winter tights, winter boots. You can still make this quite autumn-y, can't you? 39.49 for two and a half metres. And then the other brand new one is this one. <gasps> this is gorgeous as well. So this is the one that's already made up behind me. 
It's gorgeous colours. This again, very autumnal. Now, I'm really sorry in advance if you miss this because you're going to have to check out quick. 100% viscose. Um, do you know what the width is? Is it 140? Uh, 39 pounds and 49 pence. Just remember, these are really, really limited. I think we've got about 20 bundles of each. That's it, and it's not available by the half metre. The only way of getting it is 145 centimetres wide. That's on both of them, I believe. That's both of them is 145, just so when you're having a look on the pattern. Um, this would be plenty enough to be able to make the largest size. Isn't it? It feels it as well. Sandra said it's really rich looking. It, it is so luxurious, Sandra. It's so pretty. Imagine if you were to have, if you were, you know when you're looking for a really special garment, a really special dress and how expensive they can be? For two and a half metres of fabric, if you uh, are making a smaller size, you've got loads of fabric there to play around with. Loads of fabric. Um, so do make the most of those. They're really, really limited indeed. We've also got a couple of other options. My absolute favourite fabric, when this launched, it went absolutely crazy. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful print. Um, this was one of our Paul's favourite, actually. Now, we've only ever, I think, seen it in a bundle. This is the first time I believe you can get it by the half metre. So now is your chance. If you've got a pattern in mind, whether it be today's pattern or another one that you've already got at home, this is so designer. Do you know what it reminds me of? Uh, how do I say it? How do... Yeah, uh, it reminds me of that designer that sounds like bed taker. Sounds really strange, doesn't it? But if you change those two first letters. <laughs> 799 half meter, this is Hunter's Quest. No, but do you know what, what I've done? I've just swapped the two first letters around, Liam. Can I show you how wide this is as well? I think this one's also 145 wide, if I'm not mistaken. This feels like it's got a bit of spandex in as well. 140 wide. It feels, has it got a bit of a stretch to it, Liam? 98, yeah. 98% viscose and 2% spandex. Seven pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful quality. It is a bit, um, it, it, it does look very, very designer indeed. I do love the birds, the peacock one. Can you see the peacock, this one? <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay, just seven pound ninety nine half meter. Um, is there any others that you want to show by the half meter? The turquoise one, absolutely. I've, got, I've put too dark eyeshadow on today. I'm ever so sorry, I look really dark eyed today. Just went a bit, a bit heavy with my eye makeup today, I think. Right, let's go was very early this morning doing my makeup. Um, this is gorgeous as well. I can see why Liam absolutely loves this. Those oranges. Again, you can make this quite autumnal. What about with like a biker jacket or something? It would look really cool. $7.99. This is your Pimpernel Celeste. Seven pounds, 99 and a half meter. It's 135 wide. This is 100% viscose. For just seven ninety nine, it's lovely and breathable. Maybe if you're having um, a late holiday this year, they're lovely for the sun. But because also that orange coming through, I think they're going to be great for autumn. Really nice for autumn. Right, one more, one more by the half meter. Just to remind you, by the way, we've got bundles like this. If you want to do that contrast then they're available on the website. I will show you them later on uh, before. We'll get Faye on now, but I'll show you them later. So this is, oh, this is really beautiful. So I sang yesterday at my first wedding since March. I say since March, probably, um, probably February even. I can't remember if we even had a wedding in March. Um, but it was, it was just so lovely to do something slightly normal again and see people, you know, at a wedding. But this reminds me of, there was this gorgeous dress this lady was wearing and it reminds me so much of this and everybody was complimenting on her. I was like, people watching, looking around the room and everybody who went up to her was like, oh, love that dress, where'd you get it from, where'd you get it from? I mean, imagine saying, oh, I made it, I made it. It's the most satisfying and most exciting thing. Seven pounds, 99 and a half metre. That is gorgeous. 
reds. Again, those ochres and burgundies, pinks and blues with a more neutral background. This will look gorgeous in all four of the options, whether it be the maxi, the tunic, the top, the dress with the pocket. Look great. Loads of people checking out on this one. Remember, you can buy by the half meter on all of those. We are um, gonna cut it off the bolt, especially for you. So have a look on the pattern. The description on the website will tell you the breakdown of all of the sizes and how much fabric you're going to need for your size. Right, for anybody who has not yet checked out, this is a quick reminder of how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. Good to have you back, Faye. Yes, How are you? I'm good. I'm a bit calmer now. I was going to say, a bit of a manic <laughs> Saturday morning it's, for I think you. it's technically known as a mare. Yeah, I've had a bit <laughs> oh, of a no. mare this morning. Yeah, but if it always feels, well, you have to be calm when you come on here. It's all manic behind the scenes beforehand, but yeah, it's, so now I'm going to enjoy yeah, being calm. Yeah, we're like calm. swans here, aren't we? <laughs> we're like paddling like mad yeah. underneath. Mm -hmm. So, but the pattern itself. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. great, isn't it? That, that it's very versatile yeah, for yeah, 10 so pounds. Yeah, there's four different looks here. So, uh, I mean, you can do one as a shorter version as a t-shirt, uh, a short dress, long dress, and the, and the tunic. Yeah, so uh, you've got four looks in in one pattern here. Yeah. Amazing. And do you think with two and a half metre bundles, you would be able to do the larger size? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I would say with this one, do stick to the lay plan that it tells you in the instructions because it does have, uh, for the looks, is it D, B and C? No, D and C. So if you choose D or C, it does have a bias strip, as you can see right. here. So it's a long bias strip. So you need to make sure that you've cut it correctly so you've got enough for that because cutting on the bias does use up a lot of fabric. So I, that's the only uh, that's the main advice I'd give you. Just make sure you cut it to the layer plan so you've got enough for your bias strip. Fantastic. Yeah. Right, well, I'll let you crack on because okay. I know that you want to try and show as much as the construction yeah, as possible. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's only four pieces, basically. Oh, so brilliant. it's, you've got, I don't know if you, if you can see, well, you can see here on the, on the pattern where we've got on the picture, you've got your contrast there. So you've got your yoke on the front and the back contrasting with the the main body there on that one. I'm doing it all in one colour today, but uh, it's basically just four pieces mm -hmm. and the uh, strip around the neck. Yeah, so so I've got the back in front of me here. So it's quite wide. I mean, this one on the mannequin is, is the medium and this is on a size 12 mannequin. So right. you can get an idea of, of the size, but it is uh, loose Designed fit. to be loose, yeah. 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 So it could be that if your size sells out, you know, if you need one of the larger sizes and it sells out, you could maybe go for the smaller. You know, right, so. okay. So yeah, it is quite versatile. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to attach my yoke to the back. So I have... Is there a direction on this print? Not really. Not I have cut it all the same way, but it, I am... I can't really... Yeah, I don't think it really matters on this one. Yeah, it looks... I think the, the pattern's that busy, it, uh, yeah. it doesn't matter too much. But uh, yeah, I did follow the, the, same, uh, the same way when I was cutting it. Uh, I've got some of my own pins here, actually. My frantic cutting <laughs> earlier on. Yeah. Right, so I'll just remove my pins. So this, so the back piece and the back yoke are all cut on the fold. On the front, the, front, the bottom part of the front is on the fold, but the yoke is two separate mm -hmm. pieces, so that's not on the fold because that's where you're going to have your V-shape. Okay, so quite straightforward. So just right sides together. And one little bit of advice I like to give people when they're cutting things on the fold, which I've done here, although it's not shown on the pattern, what I've actually done is I've actually cut a little notch 
on the fold. Right. That's, you probably can't see it there. Yeah. Perfect. So what that does, it's just another way of helping myself. I mean, it does have notches on it, but it does, it's a bit more, it just gives you a little bit more help just to, to match up your, your centre fronts correctly. And when you notch, you just notch like within the seam allowance, basically? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just a little snip or just use um, some sort of like uh, chalk or mm -hmm. whatever you prefer to use, a heat erasable pen, whichever you prefer to use. And uh, yeah, don't snip too far. Although I have found with this one, it doesn't fray too much, this fabric. Oh, so that's, good. Uh, that's a relief. I do like viscose. Yeah. Um, do, do you find that it's because it's very silky for mm. anybody who hasn't worked with viscose before? How do you um, get it to behave itself? Uh, how do you get it to behave itself? <laughs> um, how to keep it in check? Yeah. Well, what I sometimes do if it's a slippy fabric is in terms of pinning. So I've got one. When, when I say it to the machine, ideally they should all go in the same direction. But if you're struggling and it's slipping, you can kind of put them perpendicular. So one that way. And then that way. Right. And keep doing it that way. Oh, that's a good yeah, tip. Yeah, because it, it, it does gape do sometimes when, you, when you're pinning, when, when it's laying on the machine. If you don't have a long uh, table on it, it can be a little bit more tricky. So uh, I find that can help a bit if it does start to shift a bit. So I'll just start to pin at the other end. Remember, it's notch on top of notch. So you do the end first and then sort of ease it between. Yeah, so, I mean, it does match, so, um, but I do like to check. Yeah. <laughs> also, that's a testament to my cutting. Yeah. Like a, and also as well, because it's a little little bit of give it a little bit, not stretchy, but yeah. uh, it's got a lot of movement, you know, it moves yeah. lovely, it's, it drapes right. lovely. Uh, but yeah, um, when you're cutting as well, just make sure you've not kind of overstretched or pulled uh, your fabric in in too many different directions. Because what I do as well sometimes when I'm cutting is, um, I don't know whether I can maybe give you a quick demo actually, is when I'm cutting, so say this is my selvage edge mm -hmm. here, uh, and if I grab my pattern, so this is on the fold, but if we pretend say, so we've got a line down here, which is uh, the grain line. Right. So if you just pretend we've got the line there, what you should do, so say my line's there, so this is a selvage. What you should do to make sure it's straight is measure from your selvage edge to your line. So say it was there, so that's coming up as about 25 centimetres. And you keep going down like that to make sure that it's all square and all lined up correctly. So that's, again, just another yeah, tip. tip. Yeah, because it can, it can shift and, you, and especially when I, I was cutting the bias strip as well, because it's so thin and because it's on the bias, it does shift a lot. So. Okay. It can, you can end up cutting it and it's kind of skew if and a right. little bit out of shape. But yeah, that's just another tip um, when you're cutting things out um, to make sure when you're folding the fabric, if it is a bit silky and moves a lot uh, to help it. These are lovely stable. long, um, long uh, pins, aren't they as well? These oh, I love these pins, they're brilliant, yeah. Easy, flare-headed. Yeah. Close so easy to use and as well with a, with a, if it's quite a soft, delicate fabric, they work really well. Now, someone else has set this machine up this morning, so I haven't tried it yet. So, uh, I'm going to hope no for the best. No pressure, cat, but all eyes. Uh, I'm going to hope for the best. Right. Cat set this up this morning, yeah, so. I'm sure it's fine. So, I'm on, it's one and a half centimetre uh, seam allowance. It should be okay. Have we switched on? Yeah, we're switched on. And There's the clover pins, by the way. You get 100 of them for £10.99. Moment of truth. So, I'm going to start and do my back tack. And make sure my needle's down. Yep, it's fine. <laughs> oh, good. You, it, Kat <laughs> was like, you're, you were about to throw me under the bus there, weren't you? But yeah. no, there you go, Kat, you, you've passed the test. Um, by the way, the, we just had a look on the web. The clover pins are at an early bird special on the web still. Um, right, if you use that same code, exactly the same code, you'll actually get them for eight ninety nine. There you go. Definitely a good time to stock up on your pins. Hayley forgot to change it. I know she's watching. I've said it now. You can get it for eight ninety nine today. <laughs> Until Hayley changes it. <laughs> My needle down button doesn't seem to be working. So oh. yeah, but sorry. Anyway, I'll persevere. 
I think on this one you have to press it to, um, I don't think it's got the memory of it, oh. I think you have to press it. Right. Instead of hand cranking, you can press the button, but I don't mm. think this one's got the memory. The, uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the memory, does it count on the 559? <laughs> so I keep wanting it to go. So I love that about uh, computerized machines, the fact that you've got that button there. It does help when you, you are stopping and starting. Yeah, so definitely. Keep everything held in the same place. Especially, like you say, when you're working with mm -hmm. something that does tend to shift around mm -hmm. a bit. I'm being naughty. Some some pins I've, I've stitched over and some I haven't. You know I, I like to do that. Generally been good. I just don't want to jinx anybody because every, last time I did this, um, yeah, Kath, uh, poor Catherine, I literally said to her, because she broke a pin on air, and I said, um, it's because you sewed over your pins, and then she did it again. Oh. And I was like, oh no, I've jinxed you now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She'll never sew over it. Okay, so quite straightforward there. So we've got the back yoke and back main part stitched together. Yeah, so quite straightforward. And it does ask you to press your seams upwards. Oh, up that, towards upwards. you. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, on that one. Is that unusual? Do you normally press them down? Um, I think it depends. I think cause sometimes with a yoke, it's often bagged out, um, which means it's kind of stitched, enclosed. enclosed, yeah. So often it, it can be that way, yeah. So obviously this one isn't bagged out, but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, traditionally I think you do do it that way. Um, yes. Yeah, so so that is my back. So we'll now go to the front, and the front part is the piece. Uh, so it does have the V in this piece. Now is that the top? I have marked it. Let's make sure I'm the right way around. <laughs> <laughs> this is what yeah, making with such large pieces of fabric. I did mark. Did it. you do a notch or a? Uh, I've just a written. Mark. I've written F for front. There we go. There it is. Okay, so that is my top. Yeah. So, so yeah. Do make sure you mark them because it is really easy to get confused because yeah. they are big pieces and they do the front and back look pretty much the look the same. Yeah. So. Ah, and that reminds me. One thing I haven't done is I haven't marked a very important mark. But it's a. It's good that I haven't. So it lets me demonstrate it. Yeah. Actually. Uh, so if I turn, no, I'll put it on the front actually, because when we stitch, we're going to be stitching from the front. So if I just have a look at the sample, so this part here is gathered. Oh, lovely. So uh, if we look, so the pattern here, so this is on the fold. If we look at the pattern here, so we've got dots here. So I've done this in the medium. Let me put my hand under it so you can see it. Thank you. So. We've got a medium there, mm -hmm. and obviously it's on the fold, so it'll be on both sides. And it's between them two circles that we need to um, gather. Right, okay. okay. So, so that's where you need to mark. Yeah, so I'm just going to lay this on here. And I do have a pen here. Yeah, it's just one thing I forgot to add on. Oh, I just make a hole in that mark as well. I'm doing blue on blue here, so I'm hoping this will show. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just putting a little cross there. And then I will flip this over to the other side. Again, because it's on the fold, so I'm having to... Yeah, where was the other circle? So you're going from so, there to yeah. where? So, here, so here's my notch for the centre front. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to line that edge up ah, there. Right. Okay. Yeah, so that's my centre front line. And then I'm just going to mark again. Where that circle is. That was probably the bit, the the sort of most common mistake I found, or or certainly for myself, the mistake that I always made was not doing all of my markings off the pattern pieces. It's, sometimes it's easy to forget as well, like well this morning because I was in a rush. So yeah, like you see, there's lots of notches yeah. and darts mm -hmm. and all sorts. You've yeah. got to make sure that you do transfer them all because it will make it so much easier. Then, won't it? What I might do actually before I put them pieces on, I'll stitch them the gather stitches in now. Oh, so it will make it a lot easier. So I'm just going to use a change this just to a long stitch. So I'll go up to five. 
and I'll just do two rows and I want to keep them within my seam allowance as well and just between them dots. Okay. Right. So when we... So do, just a straight stitch, just a straight stitch, yeah. right out to a five. Yeah. And you're going to sew right from that dot, put you... Yeah, so I'm slightly above the dot at the moment because I'm going to do two rows. Okay. So I'm slightly above the dot at the moment. Uh, and I'm just going to, yeah, straight across. Don't back tack. You want this left open at each end so you can gather it down. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, and then you're leaving yourself a tail. Yeah. So, yeah, don't back tack when you do gathers. Leave yourself a tail at the end. And I'm just going to do my second row. A lot of people who have got the snippers on the machine, you get into such a habit of just going snip at the end, but yep. with gathering, you do want to make sure yep. you leave yourself mm -hmm. the threads. Yep. Oh. What are you doing, Liam? Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Sorry, I'll explain all in a bit. Liam's doing a secret mission. <laughs> right, so I've got my gathering stitches in there now. Uh, what I've just noticed as well, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, because I snipped that centre front, I've actually done it a little bit too long, so I've had to just dip with my stitches there. Ah, so that's right. just, again, just one thing to, to be aware of. So my stitching, I've just had to dip it as I've gone along. But it's, it's still within where it needs to be, so that's okay, but just to be aware of that. Uh, so I will get my York pieces for the front. So you don't gather it yet. You don't pull. Not on yet. The no. Okay. So we've got them ready for the gathering. So this is these are the York front pieces. Okay. So I will just unpin these. And again, another mark that I've missed. Actually, but again, it's good that I've missed it, so I can show you. So where's my uh, pen, Bob? Ah, oh, my pen. There it is. So remember we were talking about the circles there. We also here at the front, so this is where the uh, V will be. There's also a circle there. Can we see it? Yeah. Yeah. So that has to kind of has to match up with the circles we've just seen on the front right. piece. Okay, because okay. we've got one York this side and on the other side. Okay. So make sure that I mark them. Do you ever use um, friction pens at home? Yeah, all the time. They're really good. They are they? brilliant. It's nice to see transferable, you know, different mm -hmm. demonstrators who come on who are yeah. bag makers or quilters, yeah. dress makers. Yeah. Everyone seems to really yeah. like Yeah, because I mean, I don't think, originally, they don't think they were invented for sewing. No, they were meant for paper. Yeah, exactly, yes. But yeah, sewers everywhere use them and they're just super, super helpful. Just check them marks because I'm blue on blue, so I'm it's yeah, <laughs> I'll have to mark it on the other side as well. Just so uh, there we are, yeah, that's fine. I can see that now. Now, I just need to remind myself which way because because of the shape of it, it's sort of like a trapeze shape. So I'm thinking it goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. So I'll start to pin. Remember, because I've got that dot there. So I want that to stop when I, when <laughs> I stitch. <laughs> when I stitch, I want to stop where my gathering starts. So when I stitch, I'm not actually going to stitch right to the end. Right. Okay. Because remember, we've also got some binding uh, to go on there as well. So I'm just making sure that that's correct to start with. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then pop that at the other end. Just noticed I've done my pins different ways, never mind. This is the uh, graphic, by the way, for the, the fabric that Faye's using, and it's so beautiful. Brand new today, and it's gorgeous quality, mm. isn't it? Like you oh, said, the lovely. drape on it is lovely. Yeah, I mean, all the fabrics, uh, well, ever since I've started here, all the fabrics have just been fantastic quality. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, well, the next hour that I'm, when I'm on 10, we've, I'm actually going to be using some nice Liberty fabrics Ooh, as well so nice. to demo in. So uh, yeah, I've done some little samples for my 10 o'clock show oh, um, beautiful. and they are gorgeous. So you'll, yeah, it's a nice treat to wait for. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, as a 
you know, they do, I mean, I know how much work goes on behind the scenes here and to source the fabrics and the genuinely great quality um, fabrics that you're buying here. So uh, I can definitely vouch for that, yeah. So I have been impressed with the standard. Yeah. Oh, I think it's fair. Yeah, yeah. And I was saying, you know, because I'm, I'm a professional dressmaker, so um, yeah, stuff like quality like that is you notice. Yeah, you do notice, and uh, you know it has been has been brilliant. Yeah. So right, so I've got that yoke piece on. So again, just a straightforward uh, stitch. I'm just going to uh, change my length again. Oh, it's, it's gone. It's back. just gone automatically. Oh, it's auto. Back. Oh, yeah, oh when that's very back clever. To zero, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. Excellent. Yeah. There's some of the 550s still available, by the way. Limited amount um, of the 550s left. It's a great machine. It's the only machine that we sell under 500 pounds. So it is a really good price. Right. So I'm starting from the side. So I need to remember that when I get to the, towards the center, I need to stop and not stitch into the seam allowance. So I'll start with the back tack. Remember to move my pins. Oh, in fact, the other machine, there you go. It's the only machine that we've got under 500. It, and it's, I wouldn't call it an entry level machine by any means. It's still a professional, gorgeous Elna sewing machine. Um, and it's one of those actually that I know lots of our guest designers who come in all work on different brand machines and have different machines at home. And yet everybody comes in and can just sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get sewing with it, which yeah. is what you want, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot of, I know a lot of people as well who have got maybe the more expensive machines and the higher end machines and then have this one as a second machine, mm -hmm. whether it be for a holiday home or going to relatives or something that's a bit more portable. Because these machines that are big, um, don't get me wrong, they're amazing, but you can't really move them anywhere. They're a really weigh a ton. Whereas this one isn't yeah. bouncing across the table, but it's still solid. Yeah, I mean, my machine I use, um, it's got metal casing. Right, so it's a fabulous no machine, it. but it's so heavy, seriously heavy. Yeah, so often, and I know people who I work with who they may use the same machine, but they'll always have a backup and it'll be one like this, yeah. like a computerized one. Yeah, because they're just so much easier to use and carry around if if uh, if they're working away, for example. That's it, yeah. So, do you have a dedicated sewing space then? Where yeah, yours? I've got my own sewing room, yeah, uh, where I disappear off to and so. <laughs> my little den. So I'm coming up to my point now. And one more stitch and then back tap. Great. Okay. So if I just show you what I've done there. So you can see there that I've not gone right to the edge. Oh yeah. 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 So there's, and there's my gathering stitches there. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to repeat on the other side. Now remember, this is the front that we were working on. And once we've done this uh, stage, we'll then join at the shoulders. Right. And then we put the binding on. It's great, isn't it, actually, that there's not too many pieces to no. it? No darts? No. no, no, it's quite, yeah, definitely brilliant for a beginner. Nice, yeah. loose fitting. Mm -hmm. I, I like the nice big, long, drapey sleeves as well. It's almost like a bit of um, a tunic caftani style, yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Just get my bearings with this piece. I wonder what the fabrics you could use this with. It's saying you could use it with georgette or silk, chalice, shears. Um, I'm wondering what else it would look lovely. I bet there's loads of fabrics that you could mm -hmm. use with this actually. There we go. Got my bearings now. <laughs> yeah, there we are. I should have just looked for that dot. Yeah, didn't I? yeah. Look for your notches. <laughs> look for this. I'm making it so much That's harder for myself. For. <laughs> right. So again. I'm just going to look for that dot and just make sure that I pin it by the other dot that I've already put place for the um, for the gathering. Your nails look nice, Ben. Thank you. That's a sparkly yeah, for telly. I quickly no, I did them earlier this week. It's a new. I've not worn this one before. I've got it in a set, and um, it's rose gold. I've done them myself. Yeah, they're your nails beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh. Um, they're in rose gold, but and I've not used this one before because it's like a shimmery one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, it didn't seem to last as well as the normal one. So I just thought some of them are really difficult to get off. Yeah, do you well, know what I mean? well, this one was peeling really quickly, oh, so right. I was quickly last night. <laughs> so I thought <laughs> I can't come on with half done nails. Yeah, so they look all right. 
I'm so sorry. My nails are awful. I'm so bad at doing my own nails. I just wish... I constantly do my seams manicure as well, and mine have definitely got stronger. But um, I just pick my nails. I'm really bad. I yeah. don't look well, I thought them. as well I need to start making sure my nails look nice because if I'm on the telly and there's close-ups, you need to have nice nails, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you do. You? So, you do. Yeah. So yeah, it's not easy this telly lark, you know, you've got to you've got to look after your hands if you're I know, an absolutely. Don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I was once told by um a lady who told my fortune, um fortune that I was um going to be famous for my feet. And I thought, my feet? No way, yeah. my feet are horrible. And I thought, oh, maybe she got it quite wrong and thought, not your feet, it might have been my hands, because yeah. my hands are on the telly, not yeah. that it makes me famous, but Definitely not going to get my feet out anytime soon on the television. <laughs> what a strange thing. I thought I maybe I'm going to be the first person ever to have a foot reduction. A foot reduction? <laughs> yeah. My feet are so <laughs> wide and horrible. Not that you will need to know this whilst you're having your breakfast. But um, yeah, I thought, oh, maybe I could have a foot reduction and that would be what I was famous for. Mm. Yeah, I've got very wide feet. <laughs> well, it makes them big because they're so wide. <laughs> Liam's asking me a million questions now. Right, so just stitching down the second bit of the yoke on the front. So again, I've started on the dot from the centre and working my way out. It would be nice, actually, I'm thinking, to have a different contrasting uh, mm. kind of blocking yeah, pattern. Yeah, especially, really yeah, in, isn't it? like, especially with this, because it's the pattern, just pick it. You could pick up so many different colours. You could use colors. one of those, yeah. couldn't you? I think they're bundles. Are they bundles, Liam? Because they go really nicely with both of the, um, the pattern fabric that we have. So the blue, if you want the blue on its own, that's two and a half metres. So that's enough to do the whole of the dress. But what you could do is potentially use it for just the yoke or or use it the other way around. So that's um, 34 pounds, 49 pence. I don't know if we do have that one by the half metre. Oh yeah, we do. We do. So that's a bundle. We've also got it by the half metre as well. So if you want to do the whole dress in this, if you just want it by the half metre, so you're thinking, how much would I need then? I'm putting you on the, the spot here, Faye. If I want to do just the yoke in this, right. and keep if I, that if I grab my lovely pants. blue blue fabric. So that is... That is your front, and that's on the fold. And it's fallen on the floor, bear with me. <laughs> so that is your front, and that is your back. But remember, it's double. So I'm best to get so, a metre, really. Yeah, so, yeah. I'd yeah. say a metre. I yeah. think if, so. If you get a metre of that, that and some of the, the obviously the yeah. beautiful blue that Faye's working with, I think that would be a really yeah. nice. And just as a guy, it does actually say on the pattern. Contrast cut to there. So if you do want to use a contrast, it does it does tell you on the pattern what oh, to. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Right, so my front yokes are on. It's So you can see it's going to start to take a bit of shape now, so you can see there. Right, can we see that? Grab my back. Piece. How are we getting on for time, Liam? How long have we got with Faye? Oh, where's my back piece gone? About 10 minutes. Right, okay. If that's okay. Where's my back piece? I've forgotten. Um, I have this, I pinched I, it? Have you pinched it? Um, no, I think that was that was mine. I Has do this every week. Somewhere. Has it slipped? Ah, it slipped off the table down here. Oh, there yeah, what go. did we lose last time? We lost a piece last time, <sighs> didn't we, for ages? It's just like that every time I come on. I just <laughs> I put stuff down and I don't know where I put it. <laughs> yeah, so. So you can see the shape there. I don't know, can we see that? Yeah, there. That's really pretty on screen, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to attach the shoulders now, and then once we've done that, we then put the, the binding on. So, right sides together. Okay, so you can see there, my shoulders. Right. There, so there's my neckline, okay. So it takes shape really, really quick. Yes. It's quite a nice quick make. And yeah. You, and you don't, you don't need and to I mean, really... it didn't take you 
Took you probably half hours cutting out the pieces. Yeah, that's I, it? I probably set a world record yeah. doing it. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, it didn't take very long to cut at all. Speedy cutting. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing what you can achieve when you're in a bit of a panic. And it does have notches on the shoulder, so I'm just lining up my notches there. How are we doing for time? Are we Just less than 10 minutes. Okay. I'll just do one side and then I'll just talk through binding. the binding. Like you say, with the... Um... It doesn't seem to fray so much, so no, if, yeah. for finishing, you, I mean, is it just hemmed around the sleeve? Yeah, it's hemmed, it's actually hemmed, um, if I just show you, uh, can we see on the screen? No. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of hemmed all the way up. Right. And then it gets stitched from the front. There are marks on the pattern, so we start from here and right down oh, pretty much nice. to the bottom to create that shape. Oh, I love it, it's like yeah. a cape, isn't yeah. it? These are really on trend because you can wear these as well. I've seen these with, um, you know, like just a, a little polar neck top underneath or something, or mm -hmm. a top underneath long sleeves top for autumn and winter yeah. with a belt. They look really yeah. lovely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you could wear it now. You've been made it in a really nice fabric, like for going out. Yeah. Like, if they wear it with a belt, it'd look great. Yeah. Yeah. And high heels. Yeah. Look Absolutely. Lovely. But well, you can see on the on the. I mean, she's in high heels there, you can see on the... Um, oh, yeah, it looks really it does, nice. Yeah, because it would look quite glamorous. Out, out. Yeah, yeah. Go out, out, yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I don't know, what is it now? What's the new out, out? Staying in, in, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> Dressing up to stay, in, to stay in. Although, no, I've been, um, I have been taking advantage of the, um, help out, help, yeah, eat out, help out. Oh, I've done that, yeah. Breakfast, lunch and I dinner. went out with some friends from work the other night and, uh, yeah, we had a nice time, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it'd be hard getting used to the new uh, the new prices. When oh, you no. go, I was like, oh, it only cost me a five the last time. There's a lot of places that are extending it. Yeah, There's a lot of places I've heard that, that yeah. The 3 September. Yeah. No, it has been really good, that. So nearly at the end now. The uh, pattern, by the way, selling very, very quick, especially the larger sizes. Remember, on the large size, it's brilliant. You've got sizes 16 to 26 on there, and it's a really lovely, loose fitting. Very flattering indeed, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we need after all this help out, eat out. <laughs> <laughs> Hide a multitude of sins, yeah. Right, so I've just done the one side on the shoulder. So let me just lay this all out. So if we pretend that the sh other shoulder is done. There we go. So remember, I would, with the yoke seams, it tells you to push them, press them up. Now, so if I get my little bit of uh, bias binding, so this I like is it doesn't seem to crease too much, does oh, it? Well, a bit of an accident there with that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Spilt me tea. Spilt me tea. <laughs> oh no! That's what you're more gutted about. Oh, no. <laughs> we can talk through it. We've got yeah. about five minutes there. Right, four minutes. Oh, this has to be a blooper. This doesn't it? <laughs> right. Oh no! I'm always. Having a mare. Having a mare. So I'll talk you through the pattern. Just, just a little just, bit Just ignore in. the wet patch, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the wrong way around. There we go, that's it. Yeah. So, uh, so this is your bias piece. Now, so it's got uh, your centre front mark there. And it's also that long line down the middle is called a roll line. Okay, so it ends up being folded down, okay? And it also has notches 
here and here. And it also says the word stretch. So okay. that's the, at that point, that's where it reaches. Uh, no, because that's your back, isn't it? That's your centre back, yeah. So at this point, between there and there, mm -hmm. is at the back. But it does tell you that you will need to stretch that point there. And it will match a notch, which is, where's my notch on here? It will match a notch that you will have snipped into the neck. So when you stitch your piece together, I'm going to use the pattern. <laughs> When you stitch your piece together, so you start off stitching the back, centre back piece there, and it lays, so you match your, uh, your seam there with your back notch. Yeah. Okay. And when it, as you stitch round and you come to the front here. There's another notch there. So remember, we put our marks there. We then, so here, so if you see the difference there, so we've got our two circles here and here. Yeah. But the circles on your binding are there and there. So ah. you s it indicates how much you need to gather that down. So I can't just It needs measure. to fit between yeah. there, basically. Yeah. So I'm if I just you. measure, so the strip so that's for precisely four centimetres, okay? And in between here and here, it looks like is it thirteen? Twelve. Looking about 12, 13, 13 centimetres, it looks about there. So you'd gather that down. By pulling the bobbin? But thread? you would pull, yeah, so pull the back your one. Your back one. Because what I what might be helpful is if you stitch it on, get to that point, and then as it's under the machine, it's called control gathering, start to gather it down. It just depends how you like to work, or you might find it easier just to gather it first and then pin it yeah i'm thinking if yeah. i gather first then i can check the measurements mm -hmm. with my my yeah. um, tape measure yeah so the only thing is when you do it this way sometimes it has a tendency to um ungather itself at the end okay yeah so pin it so so once you're happy where it is use plenty of pins and again remember because i stitched uh, i snipped a notch there mm -hmm. as well so that will help me match up my centre front on my bias piece and with okay, and get it precisely in between my circles. Ah, so that's why yeah. so it helps to do it yeah. on the go, gather on the go, yeah. because you want to make sure you can still see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that is how we put the binding on. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you very, okay. very much. I think we've managed to cover yeah. a lot yeah, quite a lot this morning. Yeah. you were going mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. We had a bit of a kerfuffle this morning, but you'd never know, would you? Obviously, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be back? Go I'm and back make at, yourself another yeah, cup of tea. Yeah, I'm going to have another cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I'll be back to... I'm actually demonstrating. Have I got it here? Out of the dressmaker? Oh, book? I yeah, love so that up there. Yeah, so it's going to have a bit of fun. At 10 o'clock, just doing lots of samples and showing you how to do them. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, so Thank you ever so much. Yep. We'll see you in an right, hour. We'll see you in an hour. Right, let's have a quick roundup of the fabrics and the pattern. This is, again, just a quick reminder of how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Very, very popular pattern today. Loads of them selling out. Just a quick reminder on the smaller one first. Let's go for the smaller one first. So this is sizes 4 to 14. 4 to 14. It's only £9.99, which is great, isn't it, to say you've got four different variations here. 
four different variations um, and a really lovely sort of flattering pattern, isn't it? I, I would have, when I looked at this initially, I thought, oh, it's quite a summery pattern for anybody who's going on one of these late holidays, maybe. But um, actually, I think this is also can be quite autumny. You wear it with like a long sleeve top underneath and a pair of jeans and leggings or tights and boots. It looked really, really nice. It's just getting your, your choice of fabric right. And I mean, you've got all of these different options. You've got the option with pockets. You have got that lovely maxi style dress. Oh, it's amazing. Just £9.99, fantastic price point. We have got the large as well, which is, looks exactly the same. It's just the large um, to XXL, which is sizes 16 to 26. In fact, it's sold out. What Faye said earlier on is if this sells out, which we thought it might, if you are just borderline and you're thinking, right, I'm wondering whether I could get away with a size 14, remember it's really forgiving. It's a big, it, it is a lovely loose fitting dress. It's nice and floaty. So maybe go for the smaller one and see how you get on. Um, two and a half metres. You haven't? Oh, you've left it open upstairs. Who's whistling? <laughs> Sorry. Just Putting the pins away. Uh, right, we've also got the fabrics that Faye was using. This is the one that she was demonstrating with and it's just gorgeous. She's already cut her pattern piece out of this, but I will show you um, a bit more of the print. It's absolutely beautiful and it's got that gorgeous drape. Very, very soft indeed. 100% viscose, 140 wide. It feels like it's got a sl very slight stretch to it as well, actually. You've got um, all of those lovely ochres and warm tones as well as those really, really hot pinks and that corn flower blue. £39.49p is two and a half metres. That's your Marlene smoke blue fabric. We've then also got this lovely autumnal colour. Can you believe we're nearly autumn? Can you believe we're in coat? I've got my big winter coat with a big hood. Um, I arrived in it yesterday as I was on a, 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 our sister channel and they were saying, oh my word, you're in a big winter coat. I'm like, yeah, it's freezing outside. It's just horrible. So yeah, I've now thought that's it. Autumn, uh, autumn clothes are out now. Much to Kat's dismay. She's so annoyed that she's wearing pumps not flip-flops. £39, 49 bits, that's two and a half metres. I think that's my fave, you know. This is the one that Faye made the tunic out of and it is absolutely beautiful. That's so nice, isn't it? And I think also for this time of year. Unless you are going on holiday. Oh, so envious anybody who's getting to go on a little holes. Uh, 39, 49 pence, that's two and a half metres of your showering vine. Brand new today. Now, also, if you're thinking of different dressmaking patterns that you might already have at home, um, Sky Blue by the Half Meter or Bundle, Liam? Bundle is two and a half meters of this lovely sky blue. And I think, do you know what? This would go really nicely with the blue fabric that Faye was working with, actually, if you do want to do the color paneling. 34 pounds. That's not a pattern on it. That just needs a bit of a press. <laughs> £34.49, that's two and a half metres. That's enough to do the, the largest size of the pattern. And then the coral bundle was two and a half metres. This one. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet, and that is gorgeous. Oh, that would look nice with this one, actually, paneling. Look really nice together. All the blue and the, um, the orange would look nice together. But that is like a gorgeous corally orange. Corally orange. Makes me sound like I'm drunk, doesn't it, saying that? Coral orange. Which is surprising because I'm actually not drunk. <laughs> £34.95. Thank you for the reassurance there, Kat. She was like, that's you know, quite surprising because you're not drunk. <laughs> 34 49, two and a half metres. It's so beautiful, soft, uh, viscose fabrics. There's loads of viscose fabrics, in fact, on the website. Um, which one, sorry? The bird one. The bed taker one. It reminds me of that designer. You know, if you were mix, if you to mix those letters back around. Bedtime. Do you still not know what designer I'm on about? Because he just said, oh, you mean bedtime. I'm like, no. Got it wrong. 7 99 a half metre with those lovely big birds, beautiful peacocks. 
Just a black pair of tights, nice big coat, nice belt with this. Oh, see this actually, you know we were talking about going out, out or in, in. Um, these, this would be a really, really nice one. Seven ninety nine a half meter. That's your hunter's quest. Um, there's more of them that are available on the website. Have a look over the next couple of minutes and check out your baskets. Uh, do not go anywhere though because we've got fat quarters. We've got some inspiration. We've got fabric bundles galore coming up. So don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw, and as a professional sewer. I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric, and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on Channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewers together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. 
post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Right, just a quick uh, stock update on the early bird. We had sold out, but we've managed to add more stock. Yes, which means you've still got a chance of getting these. So, if you do want to make the most of the early bird special today, it's less than £10, saving of £2, half a metre of your peacock blue, half a metre of bright pink, and half a metre of tangerine. And they're all your lovely blender fabrics, which are gorgeous, that mottle effect, not a stark, you know, solid colour. Um, every morning at 8 o'clock, those of you that are new to us, we do a discounted product as our early bird special. This is a really good one today. Whenever we do fabric bundles like this, they're always extremely popular. So, uh, thanks to lovely Hayley and the team behind the scenes who have managed to put some more bundles together for us as everyone was loving that combination. Just £9.97 for all three half metres. If you're multi-buying on it, then um, it will already come as pre-cut half metre pieces, just so you're aware. Amazing. So I just wanted to give you a really quick update on that one. At the moment, you can still make the most of them. They're 100% cotton, quilting weight, beautiful quality rose and hubble blender fabrics. I don't really like to call them blenders, but do you know what I mean? They're, they're great if you're using any of um, your pattern fabrics. It's just going to mean that it will go an extra mile. Right, they're available. Now, do you know earlier on when I said that Liam was on a bit of a secret mission? This is what I was talking about. He was running around trying to find these for us because we've managed to put together more stock. I haven't even seen these yet. They came in and they completely sold out. And aren't they amazing? <gasps> these amazing stag Christmas quilts. Was this our Delphine then? Yeah, they're amazing. So this is like a, um, a, a beautiful check print. And then you've also got all of the different ones. It was a, as a panel, wasn't it? Um, and you're also getting all those lovely sequins and embellishments. It's so pretty. So there is stock added back into it, but it's extremely limited. Kat, you're going to need to remind me, um, can I make the, is it different... Right, in fact, we'll have a look at the website. We'll have a look at the web and we'll, we'll have a look at exactly what it is that you're getting. Because I think it might even be four different codes. So I think it's the cushion bundle, cushion bundle and the two different um, panels. So let's have a look. If you go to uh, www.sewingstreet.com, you will come to here. It's your maker. And look, have you noticed we're moving to a new website platform? Now, don't worry. It's nothing really to do with us. It means that we're one step closer for us to get our website because a jewellery maker are doing some bits to theirs. Um, so 1st of September, it will look slightly different. But um, it just means that we're a bit closer to getting our own website, which is really exciting. Now, if you type in the word stag, Liam. That's it. Just stag. There you go. So, the first one, let's click on that one. That one is your cushion, which is with the pinks. So, hang on, why is that discounted? That's your panel, templates, and everything you don't ask questions, just make the most of it. It's 14 99 for some reason. Um, Liam is going, I don't know why that's been discounted, but take advantage. So, that's to make this one which is really beautiful, isn't it? And look at the detail. Can you see all those lovely sparkly bits and bobs? So if you do want to add any fancy threads, sequins and embellishments, they look so lovely. Have a look. Um, do, you have, do you have sequins? Hot fix Swarovskis would look beautiful. I think there might be some of those on the Jewelry Maker website, but just adding a few little um, sequins looks so nice. So, that's your cushion with the nice scrappy binding. The other cushion, if we go back to the website, if that's okay, Kat, just so we can see the item code numbers. If we go on stag again, um, and then the next cushion is there, it's NPXC20. 14.99, that's lovely, more traditional sort of colors, isn't it? Template and your panel for $14.99. Everything you need to be able to make the cushion, which looks 
beautiful. I, again, I do love these more sort of traditional colours, your reds and your greens and your golds. It's beautiful, doesn't it? So that's the cushion. Um, and then the wall hangings. Uh, let's have a look again because I think we might need to um, see which one it, it is. So if you write stag into the search code, there you go. So the second one there, you can see there, 1999 OCXC07 is the purple, which is this one underneath. I can see Delphine's added lots of lovely beads from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Oh, I wonder whether you have them over Christmas, all the beads, or are they from Jewelry Maker's website? They look lovely. You've got lots of lovely beads on there. Um, and, and charms and things. You could go wild with it, couldn't you? Shavoskis, maybe doing some um, metallic threads would look beautiful. That's a really lovely wall hanging, or having it just over an armchair or something over Christmas. And it's more wintry than Christmassy, isn't it? It isn't something that I would necessarily say, oh, screams novelty Christmas. It's more like a lovely winter one. So just remind me of the item code number, Liam, for that purple colourway. That one was, was it, we're going to see, OCXC07. That's for the purple. And then the last one is this one. And your item code for this one, which is your red and green, FXXC24. FXXC24. Type in stag again. There it is, FXXC24. And look, the saving, 19.99. Template, bundle, everything you need. I'd get one of each. They look amazing, don't they? Big saving on that one. Big saving. Five pound saving today. So thank you for that, Liam. We um we just noticed that they were in stock. So we thought, oh, let's just show you them for anybody that missed Delphine's show because I haven't seen those before. They're really beautiful. Okay. Now this hour, we're going into some more inspiration, some pre-cuts. We've got bundles for everybody. Let's go for the fabric bundles. The Alvedon is the first time I've seen these and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this one. The little rabbits and the owls in the hot air balloon. You've also got the uh, little snails. <gasps> I just love that. They are adorable. Your little happy snails. Look at how smiley they are. This is the first time I've seen this bundle. Um, Liam, I didn't know that you were a thespian. It's um, from South Pacific, that song you were singing. Talky, 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 happy talk. That was the happy snail he's singing. Um, oh, these are lovely for children as well, aren't they? Oh, if you got Wendy's activity projects yesterday, oh my word, these would look brilliant with any, um, I'm thinking children activity things. Storage boxes or little bits and bobs. I'm thinking like little um, backpacks or reading, uh, reading time sto uh, story cushions. Loads that you can do with these. And the colours complement each other beautifully. I must say, I do love this one. Let me open it right out so you can see how much you're getting. Uh, I've not seen this before. Studio Fabrics. This is really nice. So, half a metre looks like this. It's 112 wide. This is your quilting weight. Even as a, a play quilt. Because you can eau de coat it, couldn't you? Or doing little aprons. This is so pretty. And it's unisex as well, isn't it? But I must say, they are adorable. I love the little bunny. He is so sweet in his hot air balloon. You've got the wink. Look at the um, owl winking. See him, he's winking. We've got the fox. See, you could always fussy cut these in applique. Now, have you noticed the background isn't a solid colour? You've also got the clouds in the background. Have you ever been in a hot air balloon? I've never been in one. Cat's been in one in Australia. Liam's never been in one. Why don't you... Um, why don't you uh, take your lady on a date there? In a hot air balloon. That'd be so romantic. That'd be beautiful. Let me show you the other prints. Oh, drop a message underneath on the Facebook page. So our Liam, he's taking a lady out on a date. What would be... A lady. What would be the most romantic date that you can do? I think a hot air balloon would be nice. 
Only if you were about to propose, potentially. <laughs> oh, is there normally a lot of people in the hot air balloon? Oh, I've always imagined it, like you're having like a little picnic in a glass of fizz. Oh, <laughs> Kat was worried about that, actually, when she was going with her brother, that it was going to be really romantic, but there were loads of people there. Oh, I love this one. That's lovely, multi-directional. Your greys, your ochre, your green, your teal blue. And then we've also got... Yeah, Wendy Orlando said, you know what, I've only just realised that you two were a couple to Kat, about Joe and Kat. And we're like, oh, no, they're brother and sister. This one. Again, multi-directional. Look at them, Winky. Are they winking or are they just trying to stay awake? It's early still on Saturday morning, isn't it? Like, right, I've got one eye open in case Liam does something crazy on pricing. But do you know what? I'm just also going to just keep snoozing with one eye down. I tend to do that whenever I'm around Liam. Just like, right, I'm staying awake, but I'm listening to you, I promise. But I've got one eye closed. I was like that yet last night trying to stay up to watch this programme. But you know, when you're just trying to watch it and you really want to stay awake and you're trying to resist the fact that you're falling asleep. Yeah. No, it's, um, oh, it's a real scary one, yeah. <gasps> and I love, look at all the prints on their little bellies. You've got the hearts, you've got the spots, you've got the, um, the stripes, and then you've got the really lovely florally um, vine print. Oh, they're so cool. And then the last one is this one as well, with look, your little smiley snails. All four half metres for £29.49. pence. Come on in, Kat, look at these. They're so lovely. £29.49. Oh, I was looking to see whether Liam had taken the box of the other fabrics that we had from the last hour. So, um, can we do this? This has just really caught my eye. Are you ready? Because how many bundles have we got, Liam? If you don't tell me that we've got... Oh, they'll all go. They'll all go. I can't remember the last time that we did this. Right, Hayley, if you're watching, please will you add more of these because this is seventeen ninety nine. And look, you're saving two pounds and we absolutely love this monochrome. Um, I know the white, can't get it. The gray, we can't get it. You've got a huge monochrome bundle of three meters of fabric for 17 99 How useful is this gonna be for your stash? Right, do not be put off by the fact that we're limited on quantity. Check out now and you will make the most of that. You've got black, half a meter. You've got white, half a metre, dark grey, half a metre, elephant or silver, sorry, half a metre, vanilla, half a metre, ivory, which you can just see on camera there, the slight difference, slightly softer, so that's your ivory, and then you've also got half a metre of white, all for 17 99 brilliant value for money, all half metre pre-cuts. If you're multi-buying, which people I can see already are, uh, they'll already come as half metre pre-cuts, but these are brilliant. These are brilliant for your stash. £17.99. That's three metres of fabric. Right, they will, they will be gone before we know it. You've got to be quick. That is amazing value for money, and you can't go wrong with your monochrome core bundle. Always colours we're going to need. What does that make our price per half metre, Liam? One, two, three, four, five, six. We're less than three pounds a half metre. Oh my word. Bearing in mind, we sell, you know, half metres, seven pounds each half metre. Even at normal prices where you are making a really great saving on something that is really useful, we do not need to discount these, especially as we can't get white and we can't get silver at the moment. These are two colours that are extremely limited. I know that Hayley won't be able to put any more um, into this because otherwise we'll be out of stock on white again. Seventeen ninety nine. 
three meters of fabric with a two pounds saving. Okay, keep going through for that. I'll keep you updated. The pinks are beautiful. Um, right, let me see this one. <laughs> the one with misty blue. Oh, this is a lovely bundle. Uh, so, uh, I don't know who it was that put this one together, but this was a complimentary bundle for something. I don't know if it was for with some of the moders, actually, but it was so nice. So, so nice. Called Turkish Delight. Love that. So, you're getting... I like Turkish Delights. I didn't used to like them, but my taste buds have changed. Are you two, you need to um, try things again because you both don't like a lot of foods and your taste buds change. So Liam doesn't eat fruit or veg. What veg do you eat? He'll have onions. You will eat carrots now. Oh, and you'll eat broccoli, cabbage. You'll have some salad. No tomatoes though. Cucumber? Only if the middle's cut out. So he likes the skin. He likes the, just the skin of cucumber. Um, what about your fruit intake? Five a day, no fruit. Don't like fruit unless it's strawberries that I found out that are crushed up into raspberries. Sorry, not strawberries. Oh, blended down with apple juice in a smoothie. That's the only way he'll drink fruit. You need to, how do you get your five a day? Liam. But um, Kat, you're the same though. You don't like a lot of things. <laughs> no, it's, um, you need to start, need to have a go and try Turkish Delight, you'll like it. $16.99. Right, let me go through the different colours that you're getting here. So, half a metre, <laughs> crimson, half a metre of crimson, half a metre of, that's fuchsia, this one's blush, half a metre of blush. Half a metre of tan, and I love misty blue. Tan and half a metre of misty blue. Vaguely. So you're getting all one, two, three, four, five half metres this time, 16 99 16.99 for two and a half metres. Beautiful, beautiful. Should we do all of our pinks? Does it? Goes with my top. Yeah, it does, I suppose, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It does go with all these colours, doesn't it? Okay, the pink bundle. Pinks to peach. This is rose, peach. I'm going to probably get them wrong now. Salmon. That first one's blush. Yeah, that's definitely blush. And that one, I'm saying peach. That's coral. Blush, peach, coral, raspberry, pomegranate, bright pink, fuchsia, so blush, peach, coral, pomegranate, Yeah, pomegranate, raspberry, bright pink. Nearly got there. Sorry, I just the reason that I I tell you the names of them is because if there's one that you're thinking, right, I definitely want more of that. We sell all of these by the half meter as well. So if well, I think they're all available on the half meter. Most of them are available on the website. If you type in half, uh, if you type in sorry, 100% cotton on the website, then you'll be able to see lots of the the 100% cotton fabrics that we have solids on the website. Um, and, and let's face it, when you go into a fabric store, they might have a shade of pink or a couple of shades of pink, a light and a dark but do you know many places that are able to you know stock this array of colors this is a great thing about our warehouse facility is we've got the space to be able to get you all these different shades which one you could do a beautiful ombre design but you'll also be able to match in with fabrics that you've got in your stash really easily this is your pink to peach 20 pounds and 49 pence for three meters of fabric that's six half meter pre-cuts
We're moving on to Liam's favourite. This is your lime to teal. Oh, nice. What was that, cat? <gasps> right, so. These are, again, beautiful stash builders. Or what about color, uh, cutting out big blocks of them and using them for, for the back uh, of quilts? £20.49. Oh, hello there. Sorry, you see my, uh, my roots. Sorry. A lot of scalp there. Right, let's go through colours. Half a metre of teal. Half a metre of turquoise. Jade, sorry. Half a metre of jade. Half a metre of misty blue. Half a metre of chartreuse. Half a metre of lime. And half a metre of mint. Oh, sorry. I was just doing a little celebration on my own and catch over on the telly. I was... Yes! How sad is that, that we like really pride ourselves in the way that we know all of the names? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, that graduation of colour is amazing. Thanks Kat, throw me under the bus there. Next time Faye comes on air and she says, someone else has set up my machine, I'll be like, yeah, Kat's done it wrong. Kat's definitely threaded it wrong to sabotage your show. <gasps> That's what she's like, sabotaging Kat. Oh, I do love this deep blue. This is really, really nice. And especially with, with um, your lovely jade colour. Misty blue is also one of my faves. Uh, of course, Chartreuse, very, very popular. It comes in a, a lot with bundles of different fabrics. In fact, did you get the Happy Snails one? If you got the Happy Snails one, this goes really, really nicely because in this you've got this one. Definitely this one. I'd mix it in, obviously misty blue, maybe with the trunks. They'd all look really, really nicely with the, um, the jades, a really good colour match. Jade and lime matching really, really nicely. So I like that a lot. The greens go perfectly with those. Uh, da down to limited stock on loads of the bundles, especially the monochrome, um, especially the early bird, the, the, the uh, Turkish delight, all of the bundles that we've been showing are really, really limited now. What's that, sorry? Early bird, three half metre pre-cuts of fabric with that lovely mottle effect. If you do want to make the most of it whilst you can, please do. We added more stock, but we're now ridiculously limited. It will sell out again, so we can't add any more. Oh, if you've got the monochrome bundle, look at how much these are gonna pop against black or grey, your lighter grey, even if you're looking at it against an ivory or a white, it'll look amazing. Just £9.97 for all three of your beautiful half metre pre-cuts. Today's Alibird special, selling very, 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 very quickly. Okay, the next one is the pastel spots. These are all half meters. Now these are slightly lighter weight fabrics. They are your poplin weights. Pastel colors, beautiful purples, blushes and blues. It's a little more muted, isn't it? It's quite a, a mature pastel, I would say. Uh, so with this one, all of your half meters, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be doing the celebration. It's all Rose and Hubble poplin weight this time, so slightly lighter weight. Now you've got plum, white spot on plum, white spot on lilac, half a meter, half a meter of rose. I like this blue. What could, blue, blue is that called? Pale blue. It's a pale blue. It's really, really nice. And then you've also got this one, tan. Nice for toy making, lovely for bag making. If you are using it for bag making, you do want a bit more structure, maybe add some H640 or, um, you know, an, an interfacing with it. 
foam, maybe the Starville foam. Have a look on the website. That is a beautiful colour palette. That is a really beautiful colour palette. In fact, it will go nicely with some of the fat quarters that we've got. Or with Tilda. Perfect with Tildas. Absolutely ideal with any of the Tilda fabrics. That's what I'd be putting it with. That is what I'll be putting it with. But it, it is going to look beautiful anyway. Remember, for eighteen ninety nine, if you've got any of the inspirational books, we'll have a look at th Wendy Gardner's Fat Quarter books because half a meter, remember, is two fat quarters. So there's so many projects that you're going to be able to make with this bundle without adding any other designer fabric in. It's a lot, isn't it? And it's really lovely. Um, it's got a really nice feel to it. It's slightly lighter weight than the uh, the quilting weight. Absolutely still quilt with it, absolutely. You can still quilt with it, just be aware. When Sally Ann Harrison, though, used it amongst her quilting weight fabric, she says, if I'm being honest, you can't really tell the difference when you're sewing with it. So that's good to know. So we've got all of these beautiful colours by the half metre. 18, 99, that's two and a half metres. One, two, three, four, five of your half metres. So... Yeah, this is the only spot one that we have, by the way. This is the only one that we have in half a metres. Should we do fat quarters? So I've got the blues. These are really nice together. You've got <laughs> a fat quarter, which I know this, I'm opening the, probably the, the worst one to show you, but it's just going to look like a big white square. Um, there you go. So you've got a fat quarter, half of your half metre. You've got it in white. You've also got it in blues. So you've got this one, which is called Peacock. These have already been pre-cut for us. These are pre-cut in-house, especially for you. So you've got your dark grey. You've got your blue with the large white spots. And then you've got the two more ditzy prints. They're all really, really nice. And look at how much fabric you're getting for eleven ninety nine. Six of your plain and spot fat quarters. Pre-cut, here in house, a metre and a half of fabric in total for £11.99. Thanks, Kat. Oh, that's good. Work it out. One metre, two metre. Oh, sorry. No, one, two, one metre, one and a half metre. Okay, eleven ninety nine for the blues. We've also got the red and green. This is a really lovely colourway, actually. This would be nice for any of the uh, the homewares. I'm thinking now. I think you pictures wrong or the graphics are wrong. What's wrong? Pictures wrong on the web. So you don't get a pattern with it. I think that we did initially do this as a bundle with a pattern, but we're just doing it as a bundle today without the pattern to clarify. So. You're not getting the pattern. £10.99, you get misty blue fat quarter, lime fat quarter, your tan fat quarter, your white fat quarter, your red fat quarter, and you get your spot, red spot fat quarter for £10.99. £10.99 that's great value for money. Um, just a reminder, I think, what was it out of interest? What was it that was made? What was the pattern that they put this with? It was one of John's FPP, John's Foundation Paper Piecing um, projects. Just £10.99, but it would be lovely for loads of projects. As I say, if you want some inspiration, we've got some great fat quarter books, which we'll show you in a minute. These have all been cut in-house for us, though. What's your price per fat quarter, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six fat quarters. Because the reason I say, I've said this before, but do you know when you go to any of those shows, um, like your Festival of Quilts or your Knitting and Stitching show, if you've ever been to an exhibition, and you see a stall that says fat quarters for less than two pounds, it is that moment where you have to go in, guns blazing with your elbows out, like really trying to muscle your way in to grab what you can, and everybody's just stashing loads, going for it. It's one of those like high vis and whistle moments. Um, so. We are less than two pounds, quite considerably less than two pounds, in fact. Our price per fat quarter is what, sorry, Liam, 183. 
that's really, really good value for the quality of the uh, the Rose and Hubble fabrics that we're looking at. That is brilliant. Just £10.99 for all six of those fat quarters. If you missed out on um, Christmas, these are some lovely colours for Christmas, aren't they, as well? Your greens and reds. That misty blue is my favourite colour in stock. I love it. It's really like French grey. It's not a... It's called misty blue, but it's like a... A grey green blue. It's lovely, really lovely. All right, should we get some inspiration? In fact, I just mentioned about Wendy Gardner. I've got the um, 50 Fat Quarter toys. Oh, do you know what these will look lovely with? These will look really, really nice with Tilda's that are coming up. And of course, remember, even though these are already half meters, cut them in half, and then you've got eight Fat Quarters for the toys. So. 50 fat quarter toys, easy to make, sewing patterns from your fabric stash. So if you do have smaller pre-cuts ready to go, this is absolutely adorable. Look, your little uh, stacking block, similar to like what we saw yesterday with Wendy Orlando, your felt applique. Oh, this is cute. Felt applique play mat. Oh, everybody, all my friends have got these. What are they called? Sophie. Sophie the giraffe. <laughs> is it like a teething thing? They can chew it. It's very much a baby, baby thing, isn't it? Um, your ring stacker, they're good fun for all ages. I still enjoy doing that. You've got your little um, bedtime buddy, bunnies, buddies, um, your little rattles, little play mats, peekaboo. Oh, that's adorable. Can I just say that is the most Gorgeous little baby. Look with a little mirror as well. Topsy turvy cat and mouse. <laughs> this is such a fancy mouse. Do you know um, I live in Warwick? Not that's not a mouse. That's a cat. What do you mean that's me? There's the mouse. That's the mouse I was talking about. Fancy cat and mouse. What I love is that it reminds me of where I live. In Warwick, they have all of their lovely um, tea stores, afternoon tea places where they all dress like this in their big, um, big coats. Little Red Riding Hood, little dancing ballerina. Maybe any, anybody you know loves, you know, ballet dancing, getting into dancing. My um, goddaughter, she's just turning five and she desperately wants to start ballet when they're allowed to. Um, dance classes are all starting back up soon, or they might have even started already. Little Gingerbread Man, Miss Kitty Doll. Soldiers on parade. Oh, that's amazing. Little square robot. Just using small scraps. You can just imagine a small child literally holding him by the arm, just dragging him along everywhere they go. It's adorable. Did you used to have like a little teddy that you... Oh, of course, Ralphie. I know cats, Ralphie. Cats still got Ralphie. Does he be... The little, oh, the pig's one of my faves. We've done the pig, I think, before. I've seen the pig somewhere. Little Miss Piggy. Look, the dog on a lead. That's really cute. Elephant duo. I mean, there's loads in here. I'm going through all 50. Rosie Rabbit. That's where um, Jess got the name Rosie from. We did a, um, a different book, very similar to this, and we called her Rosie, didn't we? Cara made the, the, the rabbit. And she was like, hmm. My daughter's called Rosie, but I don't think this Teddy's called Rosie. That's where Jess has got it from. Rosie Rabbit. Very similar pattern, actually. Wise Old Owl. Freddy Fish. Cat Doorstop. What does this cat remind me of? There's um, No. No. Was it Moggy? Literally just look like him. Oh, look at this pillow, fox pillow. I'm going to whiz through now. But all of your instructions are fantastic. Ursula the unicorn. <laughs> Huggable ukulele. They're lovely for gift ideas. And even, uh, you know, great games ideas as well. So, do you know a lot of these people who... Um, you know, a lot of people who are thinking more about sustainability and buying plastic toys all the time. This is lovely. You can chuck it in the wash as well. Eau de coat it or chuck it in the wash. Everlasting apples, pears, all your fruit. Right, this is what you need, Liam, just to make you less scared of fruit. Patchwork pineapple. Oh, we want him, the five-eyed alien. Dinky dinosaur. 
Little Mermaid. Sleeping bag to take on sleepovers. Noughts and crosses, so loads of great games in here. Memory game, hopscotch, match the number, crayon roll. There is so many projects and all of your templates then are about very clearly marked out that you just need to um, trace out. They're all to scale. £12.99, what does that make your price per project? Bents, bents per project. Should we do some more fat quarters or another book? We've got the gifts and we've got the home. So this is gifts first. 16 projects from Wendy Gardner. Great to, to use your fat quarters with. So if you bought any of the fat quarters that we've, we've had already, these are lovely gift ideas. So you've got your patterns in the back and then inside a mixture filled with great techniques. In fact, this is a great transferable skill book. If you're a bit like me and you like to have a bit of a dabble between everything, you've got a bit of toy making in here, a bit of bag making, You've got some Christmas de decks as well, little aprons, little bags, lunch bag, or get your Thermaland for that, retro little purses, tablet sleeves, so really useful gifts for people. Eye mask, neck pillow, oh I'd love one of those. Their little pools, short shorts, super summer shorts, made out of fat quarters. Do you like short shorts, Liam? The finish, so they're all of your projects, but then this section at the start is learning all the techniques. So you've got a bit of free motion, binding, adding trims, there's your free motion and applique. Quilt as you go, quilting. So, I mean, this is a book in itself, isn't it? Learning about seaming, all of the different techniques you're going to learn. And then talking about different um, great tools that you might need, ones that are essentials and then ones that might make your life a bit easier, but are a bit more... I don't like to use the word novelty, but a bit more specialist, maybe. Not necessarily things you desperately need to get started, but loads of ideas. The home one, maybe you know somebody who's getting a chance to move home. I know that it's obviously all, after the last few months, there are a lot of people who were due to be moving home, being put on hold. I think there's a few people over on our jewellery maker, at Sister Channel, who have just been moving home over the last few weeks, which is exciting. 16 sewing projects for your home. Instead of decorating, maybe we've all been sitting in the same four walls, haven't we, for the last what seems like a lifetime. Um, you've got your patterns in here. Just in, adding a few new cushions, maybe. Instead of painting and redecorating, it can be really expensive. Just by changing a few of your, your little decor bits is great. Oh, I love this two bottle bag. Because one, why just have one bottle of Prosecco when you can have two? Or maybe your gin and your tonic. Or if you're Liam, two bottles of vodka. <gasps> There's your craft basket liner with lovely pockets. Your tablet case, a little tablet pillow. See, these are ideal, especially I know a lot of people who have been having to, to work from home and do all these Zoom calls and... House parties. Liam, we haven't done a quiz or a house party thing for ages, have we? Started off back in March, every day we'd always be um, talking on Zoom and things, doing meetings. And this is ideal because instead of holding your phone, now we don't speak to each other. <laughs> now lockdown's over, it's like, oh, go back to real life now. We don't have to talk to each other every day. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oven gloves, uh, use a couple of layers of your Fermilan. I'm here every day. So are you. Your cafetiere, cosy. Uh, all of your, again, great techniques and everything that you need for just $9.99. What's that? Oh, come in and message us. If you're watching on Facebook, will you just drop a message just so that we can check the stream is, is, um, is working? Right, I'm going to do... A texting topic just to check our Facebook stream is working because it's quiet on the Facebook stream today come and say hello to us so if you're watching on Facebook if you're watching on the go what was the last topic we did where are you watching us from um, right let's think of another one okay if you could be on any game show what would it be any game show and I mean past or present um, I asked this over on Jewelry Maker a few days ago and there was a man who messaged in called Alan and he said, well, I've been on a game show. And I was like, really? And he was on Gladiator back in the day when Wolf was on it and he says it's like his claim to fame or 
Do they call it like your lame to fame? Like a really lame... That, I said that's a really good claim to fame. He was taken out by Wolfman on Gladiator. Could anybody top that? Has anybody tried to get onto a game show? Liam's tried to get on Naked Attraction every single series and he's, he's not got on. So, Joe's messaged in. Watching in the bath. <laughs> Is that Joe Wilcox? Oh, no. Sorry, Kat. Pauline. Oh, The Price is Right is a good one. Is that the one where... No, that's Play Your Cards Right. Price is Right. Oh, when they say, right, guess how much. Guess how much that is and you have to get it between. They did... Um, I think Alan Carr did it over lockdown, didn't he? All the old school game shows. I really enjoyed that. Right, message in. Kat's saying she wants to go on to Catchphrase. Wheel of Fortune. Paul keeps asking me to go on to Bargain Hunt with him. He's like, can we apply for Bargain Hunt together? He's desperate to go on Bargain Hunt, but doesn't want to do it on his own. What was that sorry, Kat? Wheel of Fortune. What do you mean? You got what, what? No, I find it really confusing. You spin the wheel, pick a letter. It might come up on the board like hangman. No, I don't know that. I remember Wheel of Fortune. I remember the old school show back in the 90s. It's the same one. Okay, let's do purple floral fat quarters. These, again, value for money is amazing. The generation game, yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. This one, these are beautiful. The quality, so what's the, um, what's the price per fat quarter on this? Dare I ask? Two pounds, <laughs> I could work it out myself. Two pounds, two pounds a fat quarter. But I don't understand what you're saying. You did it and you got... Oh, you're watching it at home. <laughs> this makes sense. I thought, oh, is there like a game or like a PlayStation or a board game? Sue wants to be on the Generation game. Who wants to be a millionaire? Did you watch the documentary about that guy? <clears throat> that wouldn't be allowed now, would it? That wouldn't be allowed now. <laughs> Imagine anybody giving a little cough. No, you're out. <sighs> Okay, four of your beautiful fat quarters, seven ninety nine. That is great value for money. Right, I know that we're running out of time, really. We're getting Faye back in 10 minutes, so I'm going to whiz through some of these. The natural fat quarter packs we've got are always very popular. Lots of nice country, kitschy, lovely makes. So, do you want to do the heart one first? Just because that's easy to identify, isn't it? So we've got the Hessian in here. You've also got a gingham. You've got like a Christmassy one with snowflakes. And you've also got the hearts. 12 99 for all four. I think these would be beautiful for little hanging hearts. They'd be great for wrapping. Nice for Christmas decorations. All four fat quarters. Keep messaging in if you're on Facebook. We just want to see how many people are watching. It's lovely to have your interaction on Facebook. Watching from the... Um, watching from the, uh, the shower room. I love that everyone can watch us on the go. Watch us everywhere they are, every room of the house. Can't beat a bit of bullseye. Oh gosh, I am um, so. I used to be so bad at darts. I used to live in a pub, so you would think that I would grow up from the age of like six, being really good at darts. My mom was fantastic at darts, but no, Bullseye was a good one, wasn't it? I just remember the pig. That's all I remember of Bullseye. I was quite young then, but um, yeah, I do remember it. Twelve pounds ninety nine. What about ones like um, Stars in Her Eyes and? The original, the original game shows of... Well, I suppose, it's not, is it classed as a game show? It doesn't matter. No, it's not really, is it? Deal or no deal? That's finished now, hasn't it? 12 99 for all four. The other natural fat quarters we've got, uh, this is your brown natural. So you've got the, the, the tan with the brown spot, the gingham. And then also your natural with the white spot and then the natural again with the white spot in the heart. What about nice little, I'm thinking, hanging hearts or bunting with them? They'd be really pretty. Oh, I love that everybody talks to each other as well. Bernadette saying good morning to Jane. 
There you go. I'll just tell you on air as well. I love, you know, hearing the interactivity. It's brilliant. Great community. Just £12.99, all four of your brown and natural beautiful fat quarters. And then the last one that we've got, again, has got the Hessian. When I got married last year, loads of my bits and bobs were made out of Hessian. Things like little table decorations, or you can make beautiful flowers with it as well. Loads you can do with these natural fat quarters. I think that um, Debbie made her Schmamux mug with it. So you've got all four. Is there a jute in here as well? Ah, uh, if you love natural fabrics like this, can I just give you a heads up? Coming up at 11 o'clock, we've got an embroidery show, including Osnaberg. Back in stock. We've got loads of chances to get it. Osnaberg. Stay tuned. It's coming up. I'm trying to whisper it because if I say it too early, they'll all sell out by the time we get to 11 o'clock. Um, but have a look on the website. Check out as soon as you can uh, and make the most of that because it's always great value for money. If you love all of these natural fat quarters, what about just getting half a metre of your natural seeded Osnaberg to go with it? Look beautiful. Or to go with, in fact, any of the Tilda fat quarters as well. Let's do those next. So the Bon Voyage range, you're getting four of your fat quarters. This is E-P-Z-W-32. Sorry, I don't know why I struggled saying that. Uh, so they fold like fat eights, but they are fat quarters. You're getting one, two, <clears throat> three, four, five of your fat quarters. These ones are the one with, look, with the little bunny rabbits. They are beautiful. And this looks great with your Osnaberg, especially for toy making. They'd be gorgeous. All of our Tilda is extremely popular. If you've seen any of um, Delphine's beautiful free motion kits and applique, the early bird that we had the other day absolutely flew out, didn't it, Kat? It was, it was, um, it was gorgeous, gorgeous Tilda. Talking to Delphine, in fact, actually, we brought back those stag projects. Um, they are flying out. If you missed it, you can still get the stags. The red cushion or red cushion sold out. I was going to throw it and then I thought, no, they're too nice. I'm not throwing it across. Sold out, sold out, sold out. So the wall hangings, right, you still got a chance on the wall hangings. Search stag on our website and you'll be able to find them. Don't worry about jotting down an item code number. Just literally type stag in. That's the purple. <gasps> They're amazing, aren't they? Absolutely amazing. Just quickly flash these up so you can see. What's that? Hi, Christine. She's bagged a stag. So pleased you managed to bag a stag. Please put your pictures when you finish them on the, the fan page as well. Not only will you be in with a chance of winning Mate of the Week, but you'll also just share inspiration with everybody. It's lovely to be able to see everybody's projects. Okay, um, the other Tildes that we've got. This is your Bon Voyage range again, but these time these are Fat Eights. You're getting all 20 Fat Eights. Um, so, yeah, all of them. So, just so you know, half of a Fat Quarter is a Fat Eighth. So, you're getting all of these prints, everyone from the range for $49.99. I'm gonna shimmy one out so you can see the size of it, just cause it's not very often that we get to see fat eights, is it? So let me just shimmy one of them out and I can easily put that one back. I don't want to um, unfold it all because I've got a feeling these are really limited. So that's your fat eighth. And that is easier to show you properly, cat. There you go. That's what a fat eighth looks like. Half of your fat quarter. Cat was just singing. What was we singing? <laughs> a song in the charts that we're not allowed to sing. Oh, I know. Oh, I thought you were singing the new song. Hi, Dorothy. Having your morning coffee. Oh, I'm pleased everybody's there. We were a bit um, worried that nobody was messaging in on a... Fiona's watching in the sewing room. Sorry, you're probably all busy doing bits and bobs around and haven't messaged in. Um, anybody remember what, sorry? Golden Shot. With Bob Monkhouse. Um, I remember Bob Monkhouse, but I don't remember Golden Shot. Message in on, um, reply to her on, on Facebook. You'll be, that's a great thing, isn't it? Everybody can reply. She says, I'm really showing my age. Do you remember it? Um, as I say, I remember Bob Monkhouse. Don't remember um, Golden Shot, though, no. A lot of people probably will, though. 
make sure um, you uh, make her feel better and say, yeah, you do remember it, please. Liam doesn't know who Bob Monkhouse is. Oh, my word. He called him Bod Monkhouse. <laughs> right, which one, sorry? Tilda, Charm Packs, Bon Voyage. Let's sit with Bon Voyage as we're looking at the, the same collection throughout the other pre-cuts. These are your five-inch charms. These are great for EPP, lovely for a plique. Great to just to have for, for simple patchwork, for smaller projects, because you've got really lovely ditzy prints, £22.99. Dawn said, up a, up a bit, down a bit, fire. I'm guessing that is your um, golden shot. I thought that was Kat just telling me, up a bit, down a bit, fire, we've got it in the right place. Oh, fired, you said. Oh, no. <laughs> 40 of your charm squares, 22 99 Do you remember this one? When you had to get through the wall like this? And the cube. What was that other one? There were all these... They, I'm a, I do love, like, good classic quiz shows, though. Like, I love Beat Chaser, the, the Chasers. Uh, through lockdown, they did the, the one with all five of the Chasers. And, oh, we were addicted to that. That was so good. I was like, I'm ready to go on the show. I was so, doing so well. I bet when you're on there, it's completely different. It's like telly sewing. When you think, oh, I'm answering all of these questions. I'm getting all of these right. I'm going to apply. And then you go on and you look silly because you don't get any right. That would be me. My friend who's really, really intelligent, he was on the, uh, the Weakest Link and he went out first. And Anne just was like, you're the Weakest Link, goodbye to him. Embarrassing. Right, um, just for the last minute, early bird. Right, the Canning Days one, by the way, that I know Delphine absolutely loves is available on the website. We just hadn't had time to do it. We'll try and bring that back in the last hour. Okay, so five of these left just five of these left now they will sell in the break we're going to get Faye back on but just check out on those if you want one of the last five i won't be showing it again your mixer bundle saving of two pounds as well just nine pounds 97 pence okay so as i say Delphine absolutely loves those Canning Day charm packs. Get them whilst you can as they're on the website. Uh, we've had an amazing hour. Do not go anywhere. We're going to get uh, Faye back on. We've got some gorgeous fabrics, lots of great dress dressmaking techniques coming up, working from the complete guide. Which side? There we go. The complete guide to dressmaking with Faye. So don't go anywhere. Check out on the early bird and we're back in a few minutes. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle Channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good, it's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. 
If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live programme and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category, or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Oh, welcome back. Having a lovely Saturday morning today. Hope you're enjoying your weekend wherever you are. Thanks for all your interactivity. It's so lovely to have all your messages coming through. And this hour, please, will you get your messages in more? more I mean it more than ever with this one because it isn't like normal dressmaking hours. What we're going to do is a bit of a masterclass on different difficult techniques, techniques that you might see and you think, right, I'm not quite sure how to do that. I'm going to conquer it with Faye. So if you do want to message in, of course, it's Facebook, Sewing Street TV. We are streaming live. It's definitely the best way to do it. Um, if you do have an account on Facebook, just find us, Sewing Street TV, and drop us a message on the live stream, which will be the first post there. You'll see it. And you can watch it on the go, watch it on the move on your phone or your tablet or, or, or laptop. Also, if you don't have um, Facebook, it's absolutely fine. Liam's also got the email open, ready for your questions. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. He was like, oh yeah, I have to have that open. So you know earlier on when you were like, oh, we haven't had many messages this morning. Where is everyone today with the messages? Uh, they're all emails and he hasn't even logged in. Right, hold the line please, caller. So. We're working from this book, which I absolutely love. This is the complete guide to dressmaking. And right, so when I did my very first dressmaking show here at Sewing Street, um, I was allowed to pick something that, we've got loads of messages. It's open up and there's loads of wrappers. Um, okay, so can I show you the price? Because 
I was allowed to pick one item that I was allowed to discount and I picked this one. This is still at this price. It's $11.99 and the RRP on this is $15.99. So you've got so many techniques here for less than £12. I can't recommend it enough, especially it's Jules Fallon. Those of you that know Jules Fallon uh, or have seen her or met her before, she's a fantastic sewer. In fact, right, uh, you obviously can pay um, and go on her fabulous retreats, which I know sell out very, very quickly. They're really, really popular. But also, so you know our new guest, do you know who, have you seen pictures of our new guest who's coming in? Have you guessed who it is yet? Well, he, here's another clue. Well, actually, I don't think this is a clue, but he's told me um, that he went, he's only actually been sewing for a few years. We'll learn more about him. Um, and he was taught by Jules Fallon. So he used to go to Jules Fallon's classes and that's how he learned to sew. And he is an incredible dressmaker. So you are in very, very um, capable hands when you're looking at the complete guide to dressmaking. And it really is a complete guide. Talking about essential, um, uh, essential little bits and bobs. I mean, I could go, I could spend the whole hour just going through this book, and we will be going through it in detail, more detail with with Faye. So you've got all of your essentials, your needle know-how. Even look, every single one of these different needle breakdowns, cutting it, uh, alternatives, rotary cutters. You've got your all of your different sewing machine and feet, threads, trims, haberdashery, zips, buttons, buttonholes pockets, different styles of pockets, patch pockets, welt pockets, finishing seams, different ways of finishing seams. We're going to be having a look at shearing, which I love this technique, especially on denim. It looks amazing. Kat's just got a new denim dress with shearing. Creating shape. So all making, I mean, it is such an extensive book. For anybody who's starting out dressmaking or anybody who is even a dressmaker, if you already see yourself, you know, as a professional or semi-professional hobby dressmaker, if you've been dressmaking for years, I'm sure in this book you're going to be able to learn something new. There is so much info in here um, for just £11.99. It's like going on one of those real big crash course courses um, and you'll be able to stop back and forth. Just £11.99. Your complete, beautiful... Beautiful dressmaking. Diane, just very quickly going back to the comments that we had from the last day. You said, I haven't been on a game show, but I was in the audience of The Voice and Boy George was looking at me. Um, Boy George was looking at me. Boy George was facing you when he was in the big red chair. When was that? How many years ago? Because I was in The Voice a year, year. Boy George was one of the judges. Um, I can't even, I don't even know how many years ago it was. I'm going to say, this year's just been strange, hasn't it? I want to say three years ago, four years ago, three or four. I'm thinking it was four now, probably. Um, but no, Diana, mess message in and let me know when it was that you were there. And you probably went to like the finals or something and I wasn't there. <laughs> I got kicked out quite early. So if you weren't there like really early on in the stages, then yeah, I wasn't in it. Um, but anyway, back to dressmaking. So, eleven ninety nine. It's at my special price. We're going to go through it in more detail with Faye. Let's do some fabric to um, get us going. If uh, I said earlier on with the uh, with the with the shearing, which is a technique we're going to be looking at with Faye. I love shearing on denim garments. Um, as I say, Kat's just got a new dress, which she got from the children's section of um, a department store. She's very proud of it that she fit into uh, her age 13 dress. But it's got lovely shearing across it, hasn't it? Really lovely shearing. 4 99 this is your eight ounce medium to heavyweight wash denim. 4 99 and it's really lovely and soft. It's quite, it says medium to heavy, but it's still, um, it, it's still gonna sew really nicely and shear lovely. It's not too stiff. Uh, just £4.99. That's your dark blue. That's your dark blue. Brilliant value for money as well. And it's really wide. It is really, really wide, look. Or, in fact, I can't even reach it. I can't even reach it all. It's wider than I am tall. Let's go for the lighter blue. Yeah, it's wider than five foot two. Don't, don't undersell me by an inch there, cat. <clears throat> right, the lighter is this one. 
Four ninety nine. Hundred and forty five wide, just so you know. Just a bit of a denim to to um, of course use if we want to try any of the techniques out from the book. Oh, a lost fay. A lost fay. Four pounds ninety nine. We're getting lots of lovely questions in. This is like a big test, isn't it? Like, right, how about do you know the book, Vic? I'm, I'm going to ask Faye. Let's do the other two bundles very quickly before we get Faye on. So the bundles that were last on air with Faye, and these were to go with the jacket patterns behind me. Um, so all of our so different patterns are very, 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 very popular indeed. Um, I've been, was it the cocoon one or the long line jacket, the cocoon one? So have a look on the website, just type in so different and you'll be able to find the patterns that are in stock, I should say. It will be underneath on today's show, also type in so different because they've got a few different patterns on there. Whenever they come in, they always sell out, always sell out. So whatever is left available, you can make the most of it, that size eight to 26. So they look lovely for that. Now this is your medium blue, three and a half meters in total. So you're getting your lighter weight. You're not getting the pattern, by the way, included. That's separately, just to make it clear. Meter and a half of the daisies, this one. Meter and a half of the daisies. And then two meters of your heavyweight medium blue. This is a lighter weight though as well, just so you know. 33.99 and that is a lot of fabric. That is a lot of fabric. That's enough to do the largest size of the cocoon jacket, which is a size 26. So there's loads there. Uh, it makes less than five pound a half meter for, again, lovely quality done it. Uh, so once again, you're getting great savings on those. And then the last one is with the roses. So you're getting two meters of the darker blue. And then you're getting a meter and a half. Oh, it's not your eyes. <laughs> it's cat. <laughs> It just all go a bit foggy then. It's Saturday morning, still bleary eyed. This is lovely with your roses, your deep blue, thirty three ninety nine for your big three and a half meter bundle. Great. Um, shall we dive on into some demo? As I say, now is the chance to just jot down on the Facebook page during this next minute when we get Faye on. Have a look and uh, for our live feed and put any questions that you have about any dressmaking or any um, tips that you might want, message in for Faye, because she's great. Very, very knowledgeable. So please do message in. This is how, remember, how to get involved. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How are you, Faye? I'm good, I've had a cup of tea, I'm all oh, right. Oh good, 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 good. Um, we've got a brilliant book. Do you like this one? I do like this one, yeah. I've, I hadn't seen it before, but it's it's what it's really compact. Like you said, I didn't realise the price. And yeah. I, it's, I can't believe it's like, was it 11 yeah. is it? You're getting all that for 11 99 it's, I know, it's, it's like pretty good, yeah. I know, it's like you go on to a course, workshops, yeah. it's expensive to do, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas that, is, it's really clear with yeah. photographs. Yeah, and... really clear photos and yeah. It goes into a lot, and it also goes into a bit of um, pattern cutting as well. Oh, <sighs> part of pat yeah, adapting a pattern there. Oh, there you go. That was one Can of our questions that? on the Facebook page, in fact. Somebody was said it? about adapting a pattern yeah. and making... Uh, was it shoulder seams? Shoulders. Shoulders bigger, or... What was it, Cat? 
a shoulder seam smaller, I think they were wanting to know. In fact, she's going to find the message for oh, okay. us. Right. Yes. Alter a pattern and make a shoulder smaller. Okay, right. It depends. Uh, Is there parts in the book that would explain? Sort uh, of... I don't know. Here it's showing you how to move darts. I don't think it has that in here, but I can certainly talk you through. Uh, basically, with a, I can maybe demonstrate on the mannequin. So if I got my... Did I bring my tape over? Our um, tape so measure. On the, yeah, tape measure. So what, what you tend to do with your shoulder, it's kind of from the neck down to the shoulder point here. Yeah. So if you want to make, if you need to make it shorter, so you would step up here and make it shorter, what you need to remember then is that you need to, might need to alter your sleeve pattern. Right. So if you're altering that, your sleeve will need to alter as well. Okay. Yeah, so that's something to bear in mind. Yeah. All right, So it, thank you. I'm not sure if that's precisely what she was looking for, but um, yeah, any yeah. clarification, get back in touch and... Uh, Hopefully it helps, yeah, yeah get yeah. back in touch with us. Yeah, uh, yes, so... Yes, yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate a few little things from this book this morning. Uh, first one I'm going to do is a bit of shirring. Mm -hmm. So hang on, because I think there was a bit, Kat was saying, there's a bit of, de of a debate on Facebook the other day about how I was saying shearing. Is it shearing? I, I've always said, it maybe is shearing. I don't, I've always shearing. Said, it maybe is shearing or shearing. I don't know. What do you say? I said shearing. I said shearing. That, that, that's maybe shearing. my accent. That might be wrong. Ah, maybe it is shearing. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, so... So we have to stop and dip on the page of the shearing, shearing, so you can see there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end up with something looking a little bit like this. So I've, I've already had a little start of my sample, and at this point I can show you the lovely fabrics that I was... Oh. I was asked, what fabrics would you would you like to use? And I suggested, oh, do you have any Liberty fabrics? And uh, we how do. indulgent is that? I know, ask? I know. I, mean, I thought, liberty. if I'm doing shearing, it, shearing, shearing, uh, it'd look really good because it, it's a... Because of cotton lawn, they'd work really well. We found this one. We found yeah. the bundle, in fact. Ah, so um, it's amazing. Which one is it? The uh, Livia Dress Viscose. Do you know? Can you see which colour it is? Right, it's the other one. Sorry. Oh, the we green. We've got the blue. We've got the green of ah, in a bundle. It's the first time I've seen these. Uh, the, the Let me bring the green. It isn't the Olivia dress, by the way, that we're making. This, Ignore the name of the bundle. Out of the, out of the two I've been sent, this is my favourite because it's it's like Japanese. It's like a sort of fabric oh, you do is on a kimono. Faye, I'm so, so sorry. Yeah. We are going to make sure that we get you one of those to do a kimono. Oh, pattern. yeah. It yeah. isn't that one, before. it's the navy blue. It's oh, the navy right. blue that we've got. We do have the navy blue. Right, OK. So Sorry, Liam was just confused with yeah. the picture on the, the website. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the one we've got. Yeah, it needs a bit meter. of a press. That's but, uh, we've, got, we've got a two yeah. and a half metre bundle for 39.49. Gorgeous. But I mean, Libby fabrics, they are gorgeous. Anyway. So do you say it's like a lawn way? It's like yeah, a nice cotton lawn. Yeah, so it's very fine. So... You can see there on the edge, you can see how fine, it, there, you can see how fine it is on the edge there. Oh yeah, it's yeah. beautiful and delicate. Would you need yeah. to line it then, do you think? Yeah, if you're making a garment, I would, well, again, depending on what you're making, but yeah, I've, I have worked with it before and it, it is, it's very thin and lightweight, it's great for like a summer outfit, but yeah, yeah it's a, it can potentially be a bit see-through, so I would, I would recommend lining it, yeah. And also with this one in particular, I'd maybe line it in white because if you've got white behind it, those white flowers will show up a bit better. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I love working with Liberty. I mean, who doesn't like working with Liberty fabrics? <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm my pleased shirring. we found that, Lee, because we weren't sure that we were going to be able to do it, but we found the whole bundle for two and a half metres, 39 49. Brilliant. Okay. So, Brilliant. I'm glad shirring. you found it. Yes, yeah, so this is, I've done a little sample already of my shirring. Let me just turn it over so you can actually see my work. Okay. So here is my, if you've not done shirring before, this is what it looks like. This is what you, so it's just a cord of, uh, a reel of, thin elastic okay and that goes in your on your bobbin or your spool ah so it doesn't go in the top it doesn't go in the top no okay so i'm already threaded up but i'm just going to show you briefly how you should put it Can on your spool you, do, so you do not you don't, wind it on you the don't machine. wind it on the machine no you do it by hand so uh I have to put a bit of time aside to do that so i've just got one it's got a bit of blue on this one but i'll just demonstrate so it's just a bit of, spend a bit of time just winding it on just gently and you don't want to use any tension so just really it's one of them things where you don't want it too tight or too too loose um so it's just a case of gradually winding it round so not pulling i'm not on pulling the i'm not using any tension whatsoever and if you can try and distribute it better Quite than evenly. i am <laughs> So, so it's not, you don't want it to look, um, well, there's a picture in the book, actually. I don't know. Can you see it? Yeah, there. 
So it gives you examples here. So here it's showing too loose, perfectly wound, and here too tight. Oh, I see. I like the yeah. way when it sort of says, yeah. do you know what? This is what not to yeah. do as opposed to just doing it like yeah. that. So don't be, it. don't be frightened of it either because it, you, if you've not done it before, you might think, oh, because you, you look at these techniques and you think, how on earth do you do that? Yeah. It looks so impressive, and it, yeah. but it's, it's the most simplest thing in the world, and it's just straight lines. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah so once you've wound that up, you just uh, thread your machine as normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what's really good, if it's great if you've got your, obviously, you, your, you've got the see-through plate there, so you can see what they recommend in the book as well, maybe uh, thread a few spills up okay. with it, because it does run out. Right, quick, more quicker than it would a normal thread because it's a bit thicker. But that is so. That's how you wind onto your your bobbin. Brilliant. Okay? Thank you. So, so when it comes to the shirring itself, so I'm going to stitch from the front there, and as we take it, if I just move the book out of the way. So as it's under the machine, so we're going to start with the back tack, and as the needle's down, we're actually going to stretch. So when you when you do your shirring, as you sew, you stretch it flat as you sew. Okay. Okay. So initially, when you start, you probably won't be able to get any purchase there because it'll be too short. But as it as you do a couple of stitches, reach round the back of the machine and pull it there, and then pull it the other right. side, and it needs to run like that through the machine. Okay. Okay. So we'll do that now. And you want do you change to have any of the settings on your machine? You need stitch, to have the longest stitch you can on your machine. And depending on your fabric, you want to have a loose-ish loose uh, tension. Right. It's on five. I did try it before, and it's on number... It's about four and a half on this one, So, and I tried it, and it was okay. But say if you were using a, a denim, uh, you might need to loosen it a bit more. Okay. Yeah. So, But this, because it's nice and light and thin and floaty, uh, I should be okay here. So lift my foot. And... Again, we start with back tack. Does it matter what thread you're having on top? I'm just using a standard blue thread here. Yeah, so like well, I was using it. earlier. Yeah. I think we've got, um, have we got some of the shearing thread, thread on um, the website? Because we had some of the elastic. We did have the, the black and the white available. Uh, it will be called, I think, shearing elastic, Liam. So I'm just going to try and pick up. So I'm pulling it. Out that way, pulling it flat, and grab the back of it. I don't know if you can, can't really see there on the screen, but I'm just pulling it flat. Give a back tack at the end. So not like a gathering, you don't leave a, a, a tail at the end, it will automatically yeah. all like, yeah. mm -hmm. gather together. Yeah, so you can see there, obviously I've already started there. But How many rows do you generally do? Well, it, it depends on what you're making, because when I was making it, I thought oh, that looked nice like a, a cuff. A sleeve, yeah. Because if I pull it, I kept laying it on my hand like that, when I was like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah. so if you ever out and about shopping and you see a cuff like that, well, I, I genuinely used to have a top precisely like this, yeah. where the cuff was like that. Yeah. So that's... So if you've got a pattern that's got a wide sleeve, yeah. um, there was one I did a few weeks ago. I forget, I forget the name of the pattern now. But I it, know the one. It had, it had, had a lovely shirt. Yeah, but yeah, it's like a me. shirt style. And it did have a proper cuff, but you could potentially do that. Do that. If you don't, if you struggle with cuffs, yeah, you could do that. And could you do that on virtually any fabric? Really, is there any fabrics that you would avoid shearing? Um, shearing? Again, it depends on the thickness. I would, I would yeah. imagine you right. might struggle a bit with very fine because it might not up a bit right but uh, i mean you're but, going through tarn yeah the, the tarn of lawn, yeah so uh I'd, I'd experiment a bit yeah I mean, even with this i would before you start always do a test piece okay. before you start don't jump straight into it because it, you might find that it doesn't work or your stitching's wrong and it ruins right. the fabric yeah so so yeah that is the little demo nice yeah and also as well if you just observe the shrinkage i think is important as well because i'm i think i measured this earlier and it was about 20 centimeters there and then this was 10. So it's shrunk down pretty much 50%. Yeah. So that's just a so thing to think about. Of. Yeah. Because uh, it might be that you do want to be specific about something. Uh, so yeah, good to be aware of the potential shrinkage as well. And that will probably differ fabric to fabric as well. So that is your shirring. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to move on to, if I grab my book, 
uh, I'm going to do some frills and flounces. Oh, so, lovely. So then I'm going to go to the frills and flounces section. There we go. Oh, I do love a flounce. Yeah. We did have a chat. The, here it is here. Um, because when I again when I was asked to do this, um, we we're trying to think of a pattern we could maybe match it in with. Right. Uh, and I said, "Oh, do you have any uh, children's patterns? Because that might that might have um, some nice frills and things on." And we found one. So this is the birder one. You can see there that there's some nice shirring there across the chest and oh, some of the frills me. across there. So if you really want to experiment and use this, these techniques and and make a dress for your little girl, then. Uh, Oh, there you go. That's lovely. a pattern. Pattern will go, you know, match straight in with these these demos that Have I'm doing. You got doing. the code for the pattern, um, Liam. I nearly called you Kieran then. That's weird. <laughs> Thank you, Catch. Bringing the graphics in for it. What age range is that? This one is six to eleven. It's a US six to eleven. It says here. I'm guessing that's age. Let's have a look on the back. Yeah, it says. It does have the great the sizes on the back as well, so the uh, the height. So you can uh, look at the height there. Oh, perfect! If you have a look yeah. on the um, if you do have a look on the, the the website, the description will have a breakdown of all those sizes. You can have a bit of a closer look if you're thinking of getting some fabric to go with. I think it was with Janice actually. I think this was. Well. Um... See if we can backtrack at the day, but like you say, the Shering done the demo. We're going to have yep. a look at how you do yep. flounces. So we're, we're doing frills and flounces. Okay, so we'll look at the frills first. So I've got some little samples that I've done in my lovely Liberty fabric, just to show you what I've been up to. So I've actually already made up uh, one of my pieces here. So this again, this is just a simple gathering technique. Let me just give it a little bit of an iron. So all I've done here, so this was going to be a frill. So what I've done, when if you're doing frills like this, you need to make sure that you finish off your hem. Okay. Before you start, which I've done here. So before everything gets gathered, I've actually finished my hem. Okay. Oh, that looks nice and neat. Yeah. With that, I've just it's just a double turn under the machine. Right. Um, and what I've also done, I'll turn it to the back because you might be able to see my stitching better. I've actually put three rows of stitching in there. I know previously I've done two, uh, earlier on I did two. But I've done three, and it does mention this in the book as well, about gathering. Uh, potentially using three can sometimes be a bit better because you can have a bit more control. Okay. And the way I've uh, laid them out there, so I've done the two close together there, um, within inside the seam allowance, and then one a little bit further away, so that would be outside my seam allowance, so you'd see that. Okay. So what that allows you to do when you're sewing, and, and when you're gathering, and when you're sewing it down, um, because what can happen, you end up with tucks rather than gathers and it, you know, it isn't what it's supposed to be. So having that third row uh, in the main part of the fabric, it just helps it gather better. Oh, okay, yeah. that's yeah. good. Another thing, actually, I just remembered with the shirring, before I forget, um, you can actually, if you're not very good with waistbands, you can actually use this as, as a waistband as well. Oh, Do loads lovely. of rows, yeah, so I just yeah. remember that point, yeah. So, so if we gather this down, and I will need to cut myself a piece to sew it down to. Let's grab these bits. So I'm just picking up the threads at the back. Don't want to pick up. Come on. So you're just taking the, the bottom three yeah. threads? Yeah, if they... Uh, they don't want to play this morning. Come on. It's always great when this happens, isn't it? <laughs> we got tangled. Yeah, we got tangled. Yeah, so there's my three threads. Yeah, so just, so yeah, again, just gather down as you would normally. And I will just cut myself. Do you have to be quite careful when you're pulling? You like you can. I mean, I'm, yeah, I mean, I should be doing it from the other end as well. Okay. But if another, I mean, I'll probably watch all the technique today, but. Uh, Having more rows, it, it's, uh, it's also a compensation, like you say, if, if the snap. Uh, but again, this fabric, because it's light and uh, it's not... Um, it's easily, it's easily easy to gather down. Yeah, so if you've got thicker fabrics... Do more rows still, because... Uh, yeah. you potentially, it, it might um, pull and not. But I can show... I might not show it today, I might show it another time. There is another technique I can show you for, um, for gathering, which um, might be of help, but I'll, I'll show that. I'll keep that one to myself for now. <laughs> Something to look forward to. So I'm just going to cut myself um, just a little strip. 
just to stitch that onto, just so you can see what um, what I mean by it. Scissors. Um, do you need any scissors? Yeah, there we go. No idea if these are fabric scissors, but they'll do. And they're normally labelled if right. they're not. I know Kat's very good at labelling up ones. Well, they're working perfectly fine, these ones. They're good. So, yeah, just really quick. And my pins. So when I pin this on, so it's right sides together. I'm actually complimenting you, not throwing you under the bus again, Kat. Yeah, so I'll just do a small about on this one, just so you can see the technique. Well, it was. It, it could have been a. It could have been a throw you under the bus because I said cat organises the scissors into paper ones and fabric ones. So if they would cut that and it had been really blunt, then we would have blamed you, cat. <laughs> so where is it that you're sewing across? So now? when I sew this, so I'm gonna do one and a half centimeters, mm -hmm. but that should mean that the third row that I've done, uh, you'll still see. Yeah. So when do you sew with your gathers down or up? So your gathers. <sighs> Does it not matter? It, it's it's difficult because I've placed that on the top, so I need to see where that is. And yeah, so the thing is, when whichever way you do it, as the foot comes down, it clamps it, and yeah, yeah that's why you end up with the tucks rather than gathers. It's hence that third row, right? Because that gives you a little bit more control. So let's sew a line here, and then we'll have a look and see see what it looks like. And this time, I mean, I don't know whether is this. Do you keep your stitch length long? I've done that by no. mistake. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so no. I hadn't changed it. I've just realised I've still got my shirring in. Ah! So I've sure, <laughs> actually, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, actually, yeah. So Happy accident. Yeah. Ooh, but I wasn't pulling it, so let's see. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for the reveal. Let's see what it's done. So it's gathered it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't pulling it properly. But you can see I've still got um you you might, yeah, that, that single gather stitch that I did still there. And that helps keep it in the gathering in place so it doesn't squash it like um like it normally would right. having that third one. Yeah, because you may see you may see in some books that it does they do, do several rows. Right. It just like with them, um, it's like again going back to my costume career. Um making uh, historical skirts and things a lot of them will be heavily pleated and gathered and you would do rows and rows and rows yeah of, of gathers and yeah it would take a long time but that that's but yeah and they'd, they'd all be each pleat would be stitched by hand but they would pleat them they would gather them and then stitch them all by hand crazy, yeah to a, to a waistband but that's how we did it with rows and rows of like this uh, of gathering stitches so so yeah that helps keep that in place yeah so yeah so that's how you would work with three rows of stitching on that one and the next one I was going to show you oh I'm going to show you book uh, is really popular is it great way over half the stock has now gone we had a huge number of these books um, allocated for our show today and I, I just think it's brilliant for anybody if you're starting out but also as an experienced dressmaker it's good to always go back and think right oh absolutely because yeah, that? yeah there's, lots of there's things there's things I forget yeah. There's, there's new techniques are, are, are fine. I think, oh, I've never used that before. Yeah. It, it's all you, it, What's brilliant about sewing is that every project, I learn something new. You know, yeah. it's every day, every project's different. That's why you yeah. know, it never gets boring because you're always doing something different. Well, everybody different. does things slightly different. Yeah. So it's good to see other people's techniques to go, do you know what, I was taught differently, but that works better for me yeah. doing it this <laughs> way that you've learned in the book. So, yeah. Yeah. so I'm going to have a look at a little bit of uh, pleating. Now, I've done just a little random pleat here, if you can see. So what I've done with this one, so it's just a thin strip of fabric. And all I've done is I've picked up a bit of using a pin. And as it's under the machine, I've picked up and moved it as I've oh, gone. Okay. Yeah. So, so where, where would this normally be on a garment? Where do you see... Like uh, well, again, going back to my skirts. Um, yeah, skirt, yeah, skirts. Some stuff like this. I mean, there is a again. If I get the book, I'll show you this. 
They've got a really nice picture here. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So this, again, when I, when I did costume, you would see this sort of work on 18th century skirts. Right. Uh, all twisted and curved like that on, on down the front of a, of a skirt. Uh, and there's, uh, there's one here that's... Uh, off centre, that's called centre ruffle, and this is an off centre ruffle. It's so like this top of curtains as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, top of curtains as well. Yeah, and there's another after this one. I'm going to show you another little technique, a bit of a sewing hack. Nice. For doing that, which might help with your curtain making actually. So, do you so, do things like that? Do you do home furnishings? I don't do or? a lot of home furnishings. No, yeah. I really want to. I really want to start doing that. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is if I've got a night, uh, if I've got my pen. She was this pen for now. So the idea is, so I'm going to pin this to my board, this piece, so you can see my pin there, okay? I'll just put a couple in so you can see. Now, so if we pretend that uh, I'm under the machine, yeah, and my pin, my needle is there. When I'm under the machine, so what I'm going to, I'm going to mark some, this isn't a, the correct pen I should be using, but again, it's just a little demo. What you can do, if you, you can, if you want to make it precise, you can mark some points down your fabric, and that when we're under the machine, we're going to stop and lift, and bring it to that centre point, and then stitch. Right. Okay. And when we get to the next one, we're going to use the pin, pick it up, so it'll be about here, and then stitch again, and then pick it up, and then stitch again, and then you build up these pleats down the centre. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take it over to the machine. Are you going to leave your shear it? Your shearing thread it? I'm oh, sorry. I oh, sorry, my shirt. Yeah, so that reminds shirring. me. Shearing. I've got to remember, like, shear. Shear, like shearing, our, shearing. The singer, shear. <laughs> so my other bobbin. Oh, no. I do, the, you know, I do this every time, don't I? Puts you did the, show it to us. I did show the, it because uh, I wound the, the shearing uh, around, it. around it, didn't I? Ah, here we go. It's just on the table down here. So I'll just take all my shearing. Did you see any on the web or was it all sold out, the elastic? I think they might have gone. We'll, we will get it back in stock. We had it for the Pattern Preacher show and it's completely sold out. So, yeah, I know that you can get it at haberdashery shops, but... Okay, so I'll just reset my stitch length, so I'm about 2.6 there. Okay, so I've got my pin. And again, it's just straightforward. Normal straight stitch. Straight stitch, and we're just going to go down the middle. So we'll just start. It's so effective. Just start with a back tack. Okay. And I'm going to start to pick up. Yeah, marked out exactly where it is that you want to. So you want I'm just accurate. Yeah. So. I'm just going to lift it there, and I'm not being too precise with this, it's more just to show you the technique. And I'm going to stop pretty much where my pleat starts and pick up again. These are pleats, Kat. Does she not know what a pleat is? Well, she's just saying, so what is it that I call this? Is this a centre gather or a central something? No, this is a pleat. <clears throat> she came up with quite a few different names, actually. Like catchphrase. And I'll just do one more. A little reverse at the yeah, end. A little reverse there, yeah. So just gives you, I mean, I've not done the whole thing, but it just gives you a little bit of an idea of what it should look like. Oh, lovely. Yeah. I love pleats. I've got a really lovely pleated skirt. I do think it looks really nice. Even in autumn, they're really on trend, Turn aren't it. they? I don't know if you can see. It's a bit dark, this fabric, isn't it? So. Yeah. And again, you need to remember, like you said, that sort of shrinkage as well, to yeah. take that into consideration. Yeah, so like if you're doing pleats, uh, work out how much you have to fold it, so how much fabric is contained within one fold, and then measure how mm -hmm. long your space is that you're wanting to fill. It gets a little bit mathematical, so you might need your calculator, but uh, but uh, but yeah, just experiment yeah. And, and see what you come up with. Now, 
this next one. This is so we've done shirring. We've done this flounces. We do, we've done the shirring. We've done the centre pleat. We've done the centre pleat. We did the frill. So I'm going to show. This is one I really want to show you. I love this. Okay, one. I'll just give this. And a so these are the transferable skills, aren't they? Absolutely. Just give that a little press. So yeah. So this is the other the lovely green. Uh, lovely little finishing touches, don't they, to your garment? That's really Absolutely. nice. Yeah. So with this one, so I will do I have my little green strip. I'll do it on some green. Now with this one, this one's quite special because we're going to use a fork. Oh, like ah, an actual fork. We're going to use a fork. Okay. okay. I've never ever. You, some seen of you this. might have seen this before. It's it's a it's a bit of a sewing hack. So again, I'll just demo here. I'll pin it down. So, so say my, so I'm going to stitch it on the edge this time. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hook just on the first prong there. Hook my fabric there and then twist it and turn it under. Oh, this is so good. And we've got a pleat. <gasps> oh, I uh, love a hack like this. Yeah. And again. Yeah, I'll take it under, I'll do it under the machine because it's... Less fiddly, yeah, is it? Yeah, Less so you'll see there. So it's precisely exactly what just kept stop start turn it mm -hmm. again turn okay right, okay so that and that is what you'll come up with so we'll take this over this time we're not sewing through the center no so I'm doing this one I mean you could throw sew through the center if you wanted to um, but I'm just going to do this one on the edge my pedal keeps turning upside down there we go so again back tack. And I will get my fork. So yeah, I'm just going to insert it there. And then twist. And then hold that down to stitch it down. So I might just lift my foot there. So I'm just, just before I hit the edge of that pleat, I've just lifted my foot. And I want to pick up. How do you know how far, do you sort of just get your iron and see how how much your fork can sort of fit it. Yeah, just, it, I mean, it's just, if you want to be more precise, you might need to find a specific Mark. fork yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah. use a certain prong. But uh, yeah, so it just depends. But if you are doing it and you do go, say you think, right, well, my fork's that width. Yeah. I'll just go with that. Just make sure it's consistent. Uh, I'm with you. Yeah. 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 So you would, you'd would you probably want to do a sample, measure it and see how much fabric is contained within one pleat and that will help me measure how much you need for a trim of right, skirt okay. or something. Yeah, so so that bottom prong, pop that in and turn. And again. Actually I should have wanted to lift my foot there, didn't I? Yeah, that's it. So this one will probably be a little bit smaller because I forgot to lift my foot before. Lift the foot. I love doing shows like this. I think we should do more sort of masterclass mm -hmm. technique shows. You know, like when Debbie does her sewing surgery, it's good to just yeah. be able to say, right, okay, what techniques are you struggling with in, yeah. in dressmaking? And, and do it more specialised towards dressmaking. Because, yeah. I mean, the book is a great breakdown of saying, look, yeah. it's not saying this is a dress. This is something that you can transfer across loads of different techniques. Mm -hmm. And Faye is the absolute perfect person to, to do it because, I mean, you've got such great experience with lots of these different techniques. Yeah, in, I think because um, I do the costume. Yeah, with the film. costume because it's historical sewing and, you know, I mean, nowadays, obviously, clothes compared to then, like the 18th century, in spe specifically, as I was mentioning before, um, it was so over, overboard and dramatic and, yeah. uh, you know, the, the type, the were panniers where they would, you know, have to go sideways through a door because the dresses were yeah. massive. So these sort of techniques, they would use them on, on them garments. So yeah. what's lovely about costume is that you get to learn all these techniques and use them regularly because that's your area of work. But it also... Do you ever watch the programmes be like, that's that, I made that, I did that, or notice yeah. things that you... Oh yeah, I mean, when you saw professionally, you're kind of constantly looking, right, what have they done there? Oh, how have yeah. they done that? Yeah, and it's, it's, you can't switch off from it, yeah. Um, but, because I, originally I 
I worked in PR and marketing. Oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, just randomly. And uh, I always liked sewing, I always wish I'd done sewing. So I went back to college and I did fashion design. And while I was there, there was there was a course, there was actually a costume degree. And I remember thinking, I should have done costume. Because uh, the thing about the difference, it's the same thing, fashion and costume, you know. But um, if you want to sew and you like sewing and you want to be really good at sewing, for me, it's costume. Right. Uh, you don't necessarily, you can become a good sewer with, with fashion, but the focus is more on the physical act of sewing rather yeah. than designing yeah. when you study costume. And that's what I wanted to do because I wanted to become a good sewer. You yeah. are a yeah. fantastic <laughs> sewer. So, uh, so, yeah, so there is my little sample. Amazing. Yeah. So, so there, that's the difference. I don't, as you yeah, say, this is going to be good for your home furnishing as well, isn't it? Mm. So there's or the back. making. You can just see it a bit better there on the back. Yeah, and all aided by a fork. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Great hack. We absolutely right. love that. And the next one I'm going to show. We've got just... about 10 minutes. Oh, so. right, okay. Sorry. Perfect. So we're going to do flounces now. So this is a circle. Oh, I love a bit of a, a yeah. roughly flounce, yeah, so, the centre of a blouse yeah. or something. Cause, cause or it's a a skirt. Yeah, because it's a circle, your, your grain line's changing all the time, which is why you end up with this lovely roughly bit uh, on the bottom. So uh, if I show you my little samples that I've done. Okay, so this is the flounce. Oh, Let me see. that's really pretty. So you can see there the difference. I mean, it's just, it's just a circle um, Gosh. and then stitched onto a straight edge. Oh, can we nice. see, if I lay that down, can we see it a bit better there? Yeah, so, that, so if I pop it around so my wrist. So the bottom bit was a circle. Yep, so if I pop it around my wrist, you might, can you see it better? Oh, that would yeah. be lovely. Yeah. As I, I'm thinking if you've got like a wrap skirt down the side of the wrap, that would look really, mm -hmm. really nice. So I've got a little sample here of the green. Let's just give this a bit of an iron. What I love about this as well, what if, if you're really, if you're completely new to sewing and you don't understand fabric or how it works, mm -hmm. one of the best ways of physically or visually demonstrating is to cut a circle like I have now, because this is what I used to do with my students, uh, is that I'd cut a circle like that and I wouldn't explain what I was doing. I said, oh, okay, yeah, so, and then I'd just reveal and do that. Because right. you can see what, what the grain line does and then people look at it and think, oh, okay, I get that now. So I'm going to cut that and then make it straight. But you look at that and you think, well, it's a circle, how can yeah. it be straight? Yeah. But that's what I'm going to do. And that's okay. what I did with that piece there. So let me just cut into there. Scissors. Do you think it's important to sort of get to know your fabrics? Whenever I've watched Sewing Bee, I feel like that's the the downfall of a lot of um, when a lot of the contestants sort of got it wrong. They were saying you picked the wrong fabric for the garment. Yeah, yeah. You do need to know a little bit about um, getting to know what fabric how it performs. And what they look. I mean, that straight yeah, away is giving you beautiful. Yeah. So you can see the effect down. there. So I've straightened it and look at the nice effect. You're getting there. Oh, and also as well, that reminds me, if I show you the waterfall, where is my waterfall flounce? What would happen is with the waterfall flounce, let's stitch it. Should we stitch it to this one? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I do, there should be two bits. There we go. So let's stitch it to that one. So if again, if I show you the book first, actually, so you know what I'm referring to. So this is your waterfall flounce. Oh, I do love that. Yeah, so um, so you'd stitch it straight down. You, you, you turn it and then stitch it straight down into a seam, for example. And here, actually, I've got what I made earlier. Here it is, yeah. Blue Peter moment. Blue Peter, doesn't it? Give it a little bit of a press. Oh yeah, yeah that Yeah, but you beautiful. can see it. So rather than going around a cuff, if you just sew it straight down onto mm -hmm. into a seam. So the way they're demoing it in the book there, it's kind of... That's the one I'm thinking of, yeah. a wrap skirt. Excuse the the, uh, the crumples. Oh no, it's not at all. <laughs> You're such a perfectionist. <laughs> but you can see it in the... I don't know if I can hold it up, actually. If I hold it up the other way. Oh yeah, you can see yeah. how that's watered. But again, it would look probably look better if it, it was again if it was bagged out double sided. Yeah. Um. Because obviously, so you it's, don't uh, see the back. So you don't see the back. Yeah. But that. So that is your shape that you get oh. with a waterfall. Yeah. 
So let me just stitch it down. Tell your purposes though, it's good to be able to see the back of the fabric so you can see yeah. the shape of it. If it mm -hmm. were worked out on here, then you, you wouldn't be able to see it as well. Yeah, so I'm going to stitch this now. So you might, don't be frightened when it comes to stitching a curve to a straight edge either, because I think um, some I think people get a bit nervous about doing that, or it doesn't, uh, doesn't fit into the piece correctly. But don't be frightened about st stretching it slightly, stretch it flat, I would say. Using but, plenty of pins. And pin, plenty of pins, yeah, because it will, it might not behave itself initially, because depending on where you are, which part of the grain line you're at. You, you will get some points where you, you know it's the flat, like there, that looks flat, because um, it's kind of sitting nicely, but here it's kind of a little bit yeah. all over the place. So it's just a case of pinning it flat. And it will, it will do it. Yeah, I had to do this a few weeks ago. Was it the, um, it was one of the hats I think I was making. Oh yeah. Um, was it, I think it was the bucket hat. Yeah, because it had a brim on it. And then, yeah, so I, and this is what happened similar, when I made it. Yeah. yeah, so it's similar, because we'll work, again, we'll work with circles. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, it's a good demo of what the fabric can do and just sewing, I mean, we're not doing anything difficult here. It's literally just how we've cut the fabric. And I'm just going to sew a straight line. The fabric is doing all the work for yeah. me. Yeah, so once you understand that, and again with the shirring, once you understand these little techniques, sewing... There's no, it's difficult sewing. Yeah, sewing even it. if you're very, very new to sewing, it can make it look like you, you're like a professional sometimes. Yeah. yeah, because you know these techniques. And once you know how to do them, realise they're actually not as difficult as you think. Yeah. Um, it, it, it'll add so much to your sewing also as well it'll give you a bit of confidence mm -hmm. um there's nothing better than because it gives you a bit of a momentum well it's, de well. it's demystifying isn't it when yeah. you see it on your gar uh, garment you're like well how on earth have they yeah. done that and actually when you realize like you say it yeah. isn't necessarily the difficult sewing it's just how the fabric's cut yeah. and how <laughs> it, it performs itself that, that it's the fabric doing the hard work yeah so looks quite nice just pinned on doesn't it yeah can we, can we just got about that way Three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, that's. I'll just very quickly stitch this on. And if it starts to misbehave, I know we mentioned before about misbehaving fabrics. Uh, I mentioned you no know, pinning in perpendicular, so you can. You might want to do it at this stage on um, if you're sewing this sort of flounce because um, it can move. And it, like even now, I've just taken one pin out and it's already starting to move away mm -hmm. from the edge. So it might be that you want to pin perpendicular. And I'm just lifting my foot there just to make sure it's nice and flat. Yeah, another important thing is checking underneath. Right, okay. Um, nothing's shimmy. So nothing's the way. moving, yeah, as it's. If it's shifting a little bit, keep checking underneath, and it's 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 laying how it should. That's one of the worst things of sewing. You, you get something sewn in, you think, oh, that's brilliant, and when you look at it, and you've you've caught something in there, and it's it's easily done now. I do remember again when I was a student doing my final collection, because I was. Um, it was like, I think the day of the handing or like the last day, so everyone was kind of in a panic. I was on the overlocker finishing off my edges on a, on a dress I'd made. And the, the fabric, I'd actually designed the fabric myself and had it printed, oh, so it cost wow. a fortune. And uh, I managed to put a hole in it at the overlocker while I was doing my seams. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. It was only tiny though, so... But that's, that was my lack of concentration, not checking that it, it had got bunched up under the machine. And obviously with an overlocker, it cuts the fabric off yeah. as, as it sews. So. so yeah, I learnt a lesson that day. <laughs> it was small enough just to stick a bit of fusible interfacing on it though, so uh, it wasn't an enormous oh, disaster. Oh no. I'll tell you one thing I did do as well. Um, I also made some leggings, again, with some digitally printed fabric. And I, uh, I needed a swatch to go in some of my paperwork. Um, so I grabbed the fabric, I cut the swatch out and I cut it out of the trouser leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Luckily, it was low down, so I just, I just had to make the leggings a bit shorter. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Do you know what? There's so many... I, I bet everybody's got all of these yeah. different malfunctions, oh, yeah. wardrobe malfunctions that we've had. Oh. There we go. We had a message come in. Sorry, Liam. Who from? Yasmin! Hello. Learning so much. Oh, she good. says, thank you so oh, much. Oh, fabulous. Oh, look at that. <gasps> yeah, you can really files. see it. Yeah. Ooh, I can hear the moans and groans from Amazing. the office. Amazing. <laughs> that looks really, really nice. Yeah, it looks a bit, you can see it a bit better there with the lighter fabric. Was there anything else that you did want to show? Because we have still got a couple more minutes. Oh, what else can I show you? Or we even talk through Ooh. anything in the book. Let's have a look. There are some other, because it talks about stretch fabric as well. Oh, that's good. Uh, so you can get to know, it's, it does talk about yep. getting to know your fabrics as well mm -hmm. throughout yep. the book. Um, so there's a whole section on stretch. It also says, well, rather tellingly, you don't need an overlooker <laughs> to work with stretch fabric. Which, which is, uh, is good to which know. Which is important, yeah. So it does give you a list, because sometimes the viscose uh, can have a little bit of stretch in it. So here, uh, they've got things like lightning stitch, normal zigzag. I tend to work a lot with a zigzag. My, my own machine at home, uh, it doesn't have a chain stitch, because a t chain stitch is good for stretch, but it doesn't have one. If, you're, if your machine, if you're not sure, if it's not set up for them sort of stitches, just use a really small zigzag. Right, okay. So that's how you, you know, yeah. Had to work with you work you don't on stretch. Need to necessarily invest in an overlock Not straight necessarily. away, but no. they do. They are a game changer. Mm -hmm. When you do get to that point of dressmaking, you'll love your overlocker. Yeah, and it also goes into zips as well. In fact, we've got uh, overlockers on tomorrow's show. Hooks and eyes. Um, uh, under stitching as well. There's a section in under stitching because under stitching, I always think. I thought initially that it's like top stitching to stop it from rolling out, yeah, but under stitching is. I can maybe just give you a quick. If I'd show you quickly, what you Thanks, would normally Chris. do is you would you would press. So if we look here, the one I've just made the sample, you would press this back mm -hmm. that way, and then when we turn it to the front, as it's pressed up that way, we would then stitch down here. So okay. it just holds it, just it holds that, yeah. So when you press it, it just holds it all in place and just strengthens it a little bit. Well, Chris, yeah. so, so, that that, so that is your understitching. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to do more of these troubleshooting Great. shows. That'd be brilliant. Yeah. That'd be so good. And we need to do a kimono pattern with that beautiful Definitely. green Definitely. I, I said I have to make Japanese a kimono with well. that. It's gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. It's been so lovely to see you yeah, again. You it's too. Been weeks and weeks. When are you back? Another month, I think. Oh, yeah. we'll see you next yeah. month, September. Yeah, September, no. September on Tuesday, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm just so... Feels I'm... like autumn already, though. Yeah. That, so. that noise was the fear of me um, <laughs> going into autumn, not ready for it. But anyway, it's so good to see you. Yeah, you, you Thank too. you for today. Thank we're you. Gonna have a, a, are we going to have a, a, a round up or not? No, we'll, um, we'll go to a quick break. We've got loads coming up, though. Check out your baskets for the book, any of the fabrics on the website, also all the patterns. We're back with some embroidery, including our natural seed in Osnaburg, so do not go anywhere back after this. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. There are two ways to shop with us, either via our website, which is www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down past the live programme and either click on the Shop Our Catalogue banner to shop via category, or shop today's products by scrolling through the list under the email newsletter sign-up form. The other way to shop is via our UK call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hi, I've been asked to do a little bit of an introduction about me, so here goes for Sewing Street. 
I'm Sally Ann Harrison. I'm based in the UK in Bristol. Um, I lived here all my life, apart from a short stint in North Carolina, where I lived um, for three years from 2000 to 2003. I specialise in patchwork and quilting. I am a complete patchwork and quilting addict. I love small piecing, I love wool applique, all forms of applique, um, and I also like making small little crafty projects. How did I get into sewing? Well, I've sewn all my life. I remember the first thing I ever made was um, like a little bikini top from one of my mother's old overalls when I was about nine. Um, I got married when I was about 20, 21 and started making curtains at that time. So I was a curtain maker for a long period of time. But it was in 2000 when I moved to the US that I really got into quilting big time. I discovered a local patchwork and quilting store. I took classes. Um, I made loads of quilts. I made some fantastic friends. Um, I met a great tutor called Michelle May. Um, and by the time I left, I was actually beginning to exhibit in 2003. So that's how I got into doing what I do. Tell us something unexpected about yourself. Well, one of the, the strange things about me is that I'm the world's worst knitter. Um, I can do most crafts. I crochet, I do punch needle, I do obviously patchwork and quilting and dressmaking. But knitting, mm -mm. I the pins go in all sorts of weird directions. I have to concentrate. If anybody, you know, rings the doorbell, I can't stop mid-row. I am the world's worst knitter. Sewing tips to share with viewers. Um, it's got to be the beard trimmer trick. I mean, why use an unpicker when you can use a beard trimmer to take out the seams that you've sewn incorrectly? It's just the best tip ever, I reckon. And a claim to fame. Probably my claim to fame based on my sewing career was that in 2017 I was invited to the Houston Quilt Festival, the International Quilt Festival, and it was there that I demonstrated some wool applique. It was a fantastic experience and if anyone's debating going to the International Quilt Festival next year, go. It is absolutely fabulous. And that's a bit about me. Thank you very much for listening. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Right, we have just set up the busiest hour ever. Um, I've never seen so many products here. It's Brilliant, we've got loads to do this hour. I want to start by talking about this because I've only really, really briefly spoken about it before and we um, have tried to get this in for so, so long. Those of you that have known myself or known um, Kat and Joe and Hannah and everybody and Paul for the last few years, 
You might have known in a previous life we were part of a company called Sewing Quarter and uh, basically we tried, we had so many people for years who asked us to get these seat frames in and I think there was a lady, Hayley was telling me, um, who found one at like a car boot sale basically and there was just no suppliers that were sending out these seat frames so we have finally got the seat frames in. So basically you sit on this part <laughs> And then it means you're hands free to do any of your stitches, completely adjustable, adjust the height of it, depending on you know how tall or how low you want it. But if you just imagine you're sitting on, a, on it as a seat, it's really hard to, to sort of show you when I'm, I'm stood up like this behind. But shall I just perch on the end of the table? But if you're sitting on this, it means that you're completely hands free. What's that, sorry? Yeah, it goes higher, it can go, however high you want it. So look, you've got plenty of length. So if you are taller, if you're taller, you can have it higher. Or if, you know, it depends how, how high you want to do stitching. But I'm thinking if you are sitting on the sofa or on an armchair, if you're sitting in bed, if you're, well, actually, if you're lying in bed, could you, I suppose, put it under you maybe? I don't know. Message in if you've used one of these before. You seat, seat steady or on the train. Quite sort of packs down quite portable, actually. It comes in, in piece in the box. So it's really, really clever indeed. And it comes with your embroidery hoop. I'm not sure whether you could use a smaller hoop on here. I'm not sure. I don't think, I think it is just the, it, it's attached to the hoop, you see. Um, it's already attached. So I think it would be for larger pieces of embroidery. 27, or you could, I suppose, put it onto a bit of a mount anyway, if you are doing something smaller. 27 pounds and 99 pence. So these are brilliant. It comes all um, nicely together in a box. I don't know where I've put my box, but it's, it's all right tricked somewhere but I was just going to see if there were any, any more it's really nice and easy to assemble though it simply all comes apart like this this also unscrews so if you are storing it away if it's not something you're you're doing lots and lots of but I tell you what it does really really help so so much when you've got your hands free so it does pack down quite compact actually if you are taking it on the move really handy to be able to say right if the phone rings i can put my needles in and walk away without having to do it you know just with your hands so that's your seat frame every single time these have been on air they have sold very very fast so just a quick warning on those it's 27.99 that would be a great gift for somebody that loves hand stitching um now this one is your table clamp now it's already on the table so Again, hands completely free. It means that you can stitch hands free. So, it's got a table clamp, which is really nice and deep. Our table is quite thick, actually, and it fits absolutely perfectly. Oops. Um, so, that simply slots in. Reminds me of like the, uh, the woodwork vices at, at school. <laughs> Do you remember? So, that slots in like this. This one screws down, depending on the, the width of your table. You can fasten that at the bottom. And then you've got the screw at the back, pop that in, screw it in. And then, if, you are, if you've got your um, natural seeded Osnaberg, for example, you've got it all in your, you've got your, your, your threads and your needles ready to go. It means you can pass between very easy and still be hands free using both hands, but you're not sitting on it. So you can walk away completely from this and do other bits. So if you are doing it from um, a table or um, I'm trying to think of other things or, you know, it, it is going to absolutely just, just stay there perfectly. It's a 10 inch frame that comes with this one and it's the same as the other one. It comes with that 10 inch frame sort of attached to it. Uh, just 19 pounds and 99 pence. They're great, aren't they? Because I, I mean, I can have a look at the back. I can be tying off. You can be doing anything that you need to do completely um, swivel it round, however you like to do it. It's about getting into the right, the right position. It's about getting into, you know, getting your correct posture as well. All of our guest designers who have ever been in doing um, embroidery, they, they really, really like this. And it's very, very handy to have. Okay, so let's have a look at the brand new Simply Stitched book. This has never been to air before. It is brand new today. Um, beautiful purses, gorgeous motifs that you can transfer onto lots of different projects. We've only got a very limited amount of these books though. There's literally 50 of them. So for 19 pounds and 49 pence, let's have a look at what we're getting. 
What I like the idea of is doing lovely little wall hangings, but also then incorporating them into projects. So here you've got lots of different purse ideas. Vases and flowers, beautiful long purses, lengthy purses, smaller purses. How pretty are those to put onto safety pins or like pin badges? Butterflies, feathers. And so this is like your sort of stitch uh, contents almost. So it's telling you jump to page 64. And on page 64, it's going to give us a full breakdown of how to do it. It tells us all, even what colour DMC threads have been used to embroider them. So if you do want to copy the colours exactly, absolutely you can. But it does give you great notes and tells you running stitch, top uh, uh, setting stitch on top of the, sorry, running stitch on top of satin stitch. It tells you exactly what stitches to use. And then you've also got your stitch reference guide. So it will talk you through how to do it as well as constructing your purses. There's your full size templates. So you've got loads of templates. If you are using, I'll talk to you about a light box in a bit, or if you're transferring it through, you then also have your pattern sheets. So inside here, You've got these lovely pattern sheets as well. So plenty of inspiration, less than £20. In total, you have got... I have no idea. But, I mean, this is for purses, wallets, bags, lo loads of... I mean, it's endless, really. It is endless. Um, it, it, it doesn't tell me an amount of, of stitches there are or patterns there are, but I suppose you can mix and match them in. You could just do this flower or you could just do this flower. You can mix this in with um, these ones or, or with the bird on the, the branch. That looks beautiful. Possibilities are absolutely endless. We only have 50 chances to get this and it is brand new today. Even cats. That's so cute. That is so, so cute. Oh, see, that would be beautiful on a, a, a T-shirt or something, like a little white T-shirt, wouldn't it? Little jacket, like denim jacket. Oh, that one's gorgeous, you boys and girls. Oh, loud in hands. There's some really, really pretty motifs. Flower medallions, look at all those French knots, gives it great texture. Your botanical gardens. Oops. £19.49. pence. Your Simply Stitch Embroidery Book. Right, another book that's not long launched. Is it this one? I was going to say, because I've not seen this. This has a long launch. I've not seen this one yet. This is your botanical embroidery. So inside you get all your instruction booklet, plus you get full size templates as well. So if you do love a bit of slow sewing, I must say since lockdown, I think a lot of people have been getting more into slowing down, doing a bit of hand stitching. We live in a world that's a million miles an hour. And don't get me wrong, there's a time and a place to be able to run stuff up really quickly on your sewing machine. But it's also fantastic to be able to just do a bit of slow stitching, maybe in the garden or on the move, on the train, on your holidays, if you're doing a staycation maybe. You've got some really pretty projects in here. So, look, to embellish onto the top of a footstool, how nice is that? To use for wall hangings in picture frames for long bolster style cushions. How lovely for somebody who may be moving into a new home to embroider them, just even just a, a little wall art piece. There's some gorgeous picture frame wall art pieces. So they're just additional ones. They're additional botanical ideas. Let's go back to the start. So it talks to you about how to um, how uh, your fabric and and uh, an iron on prep. So using the transfers it talks about different threads. Uh, it goes through all of the different botanical ideas and I, I like the fact that it also gives you a bit of an insight into the flower itself so this isn't telling you about embroidery this is saying that lavender is believed to help promote calmness and wellness reduce stress and anxiety and possibly reduce mild pain and what I love about that is that um, 
if you're gifting it to somebody, maybe you know somebody who just needs a little bit of calm. I always associate calm with, you know, lavender. It's lovely. Oh, well, it is. Liam's, Liam's um, obviously getting a producer head on, getting panicky, saying, obviously, it's not going to, we can't guarantee that, you know, it's going to do this. But this isn't lavender. This is a picture of lavender. So don't worry, Liam. I can't say that the, the actual embroidery will reduce mild pain. But um, what I love about it is that it instantly brings those memories to, to the forefront, doesn't it? When I think of lavender, I think of... Oh, just like that lovely pillar mist smell that's just so nice. I think of Best Press as well. Best Press, our oh, Best Press lavender is always very popular. All the insects. Um, and it's opinions as well. It's opinions of Brian. So it says insects here. Bees are my favourite. They can be easily stitched with backstitch. Um, French knots for the eyes. Create stripes with the um, stab stitches as well. So, I mean, he gives you some great tips and his opinions this is your stitch guide so every stitch that's going to be used throughout the book you'll be able to see with pictures how you can do it the back stitch your chain stitch your buttonhole stitch feather stitch french knot herringbone japanese ribbon stitch lazy daisy stab stitch soft knots so really beautiful techniques which you're going to be able to see throughout the book I mean that's amazing you could do this in like variegated or um, metallic -y threads and it will look like a Christmas wreath just using different fabrics and different threads can alter the look completely so even though you've got all these projects just changing the colors and combinations would be amazing so not only do you get these you also get your pullouts which are iron on transfers now I know Liam likes those sticky on tattoos you know like the the ones that you, you dab, you put wet, and then you stick them onto your skin. Um, <laughs> it isn't like that. It irons on and transfers on. These then stay where they are. You don't need to lick the paper, wet the paper. It literally will just iron it onto your fabric. Um, and you get a few goes out of it. It isn't a one-time use. You'll get a few goes with it. So look at the lovely lavender. But then, once it has, you know, lost its transfer, you could then trace it out, couldn't you? You could still use it as a pattern. So you've got loads. I mean, think of all the beautiful colours that you're going to be able to use. I'm looking at these. You've got all the lovely colours you can use. So there are your patterns. Right. That one, very, very new in. It's only 19.99. It's one with... Four elegant projects, 25 mix and match designs for less than £20. That's a lovely gift for somebody. Beautiful pillow, table runner, shadow box and more. Hand embroider, pant, pant, <laughs> plant inspired projects with step by step. Sorry, it's only because I'm listening into Liam's conversation that it made me say pant. <laughs> I don't know why, sorry. It's Saturday, isn't it? It's the weekend. It's the Saturday. You know, you're just thinking, just going to sit in my pants all day, do some stitching. That's obviously what I was thinking, isn't it? Uh, right. Please message in, by the way. Oh, do you know, on the Facebook, you know, under the live, can you also drop pictures onto comments? I bet you can. Why not? Is there not a little um, photograph thing? You know, when you, you would comment on a post? Whilst it's live, I don't think you can post pictures. I'm just thinking, I wondered if anybody wants to put any of their embroidery pictures on. Honestly, I'd love to see them. Love, love, love to see them. Hello, Jenny. Jenny's messaging. Jeannie. Hi, Jeannie. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Perfect. Out shopping, watching while I wait to get into uh, into the shops. I'm in the queue. There you go. Absolutely brilliant. Watching us on the uh, the move. If you do want to now watch us on the go, we are now streaming live on Facebook every day. So you can watch us in the morning, wherever you are, um, at Sewing Street TV. Sewing Street TV on Facebook. Brilliant. Where next, Liam? Can we do the light box? Because we were talking about transferring skills. Now this is transferring your patterns. This is um, this is a smaller. This is a smaller. Um, oh no, sorry, Chris. We did uh, speak. Was it the understitching? 
Yeah, at the end of face demo, if you missed it, we did do it right at the end of face demo, so she was showing you how to do the understitching. So we didn't miss your message. Um, if you missed it, have a watch back on, on YouTube. So it's got a little wire and a plug. You plug it in. Um, this is the smaller version, which is nice and portable, actually, and it's got three different light settings. It's not a glass top, so you don't need to worry about breaking it, um, and it's not going to give off any heat whatsoever as it's filled with these LED lights. So are you ready? So there's number one number two brightness, and number three. And it's not a really bright, horrible, shining light all over my face. It's not blinding light. It's just a nice, bright light. Can you see that? So there you go. There's the third light. Um, and it, it, as I said, it's completely LED, so it's not going to get hot. Um, it's, it, you don't need to change bulbs. It's going to be chargeable uh, with, the, with the thread. Okay, yeah, let's turn the lights off so you can just see how great and how bright it is. I'm probably going to look like I'm telling a ghost story now, aren't I? Oh, no, it's not too bad. But there you go. You can see how light it is. Now, let's have a look. If you've got a pattern that you want to transfer, let's say this one. If you're then going over onto, let's see if it works with our um, Osnaberg. If you're using a light cotton or if you're transferring it, oh, shimmy, 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 yay, shimmy, yeah. It means then, hopefully, you're going to be able to see this. I can definitely see it a lot clearer than um, you'll be able to on camera. But this one, obviously, yeah, if you're, if you're, if you're tracing, if, you, if you're using it onto your tracing paper, then it'll be even thinner, but this is... Yeah, can we put the lights back on, please? It, with your lights on, it might be um, a bit clearer for you to see at home. Ah, there you go. But you can see how easy then with a light box, instead of having to transfer your patterns onto tracer paper or your freeze paper or whatever it is that you're doing, um, up against, the, up against uh, a window, I found it could be quite difficult. My windows are really small and they've got lots of, you know, the little bars across it, basically. <laughs> Sounds like I was in jail then, didn't I? My window with bars on. Do you know what I mean? The little window frame things. So, <laughs> okay. I've got really small windows with bars that I can't get out. Yes. <laughs> um, but I find it really hard to transfer patterns across. So a light box is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Makes it really hard to escape <laughs> from home. <laughs> right, so can we do the Osnaberg? <gasps> I'm so pleased we've got it. Are you ready? As soon as we bring the graphics live, loads of you have already been eagle-eyed and found it on the website. Da, 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 da. £2.50 for half a metre, which looks like this. Now, Osnaberg and Calico, right, let me tell you the difference. We were looking into this the other day because I thought, I wonder whether I could use Osnaberg when making... Um, uh, dressmaking sort of uh, twirls but it's stiffer it's slightly stiffer don't get me wrong it's still lovely and soft but this is going to be better for bag making is that right cat have i got that the right way around so oh hang on no this is a lot softer this is softer than calico so calico can be sort of i thought it was the lady who was it that came in and said they couldn't use it yvonne wanted to use it for what Oh, it's, it's thicker, it, it's, it's heavier slightly, but it, it's still really lovely and soft. So remind me what happened with Yvonne. To back a quilt. She couldn't, she could do it in calico, but she was saying it's too heavy potentially to do with Osnaberg. But this is going to be great for bag making, isn't it? Really nice for bag making. Uh, just so you know, 100 units already gone. 100 units already gone that quick. I think a lot of people are multi-buying at £2.50. Will you just drop underneath on the Facebook feed? Because I'm learning along with you as well. Please let me know how you use Osnaberg. Um, I think this would be really beautiful with any of your Tilda fabrics to applique onto and to do free motion. It'd look beautiful. But drop onto the feed if you're watching live on Facebook how you would use Osnaberg. Speaking of um, the Facebook feed, hello, who's that? Ellen. Oh, it's a lovely day today, isn't it? It's sunny in Utoxeter. She's sitting in a car park in Utoxeter. Been to Utoxeter races before. Um, yeah, I do like Utoxeter. What are you doing in Utoxeter in the car park? What are you waiting for? 
Keep it clean. <laughs> £2.50 half meter, that is your natural cedar dosner bag. And can I just show you close up the, the detail? Because it's got beautiful, uh, sort of like a natural seeded feel to it. If you want to dye this as well, you could absolutely dye this. You know, if you do want to, uh, to dye it, you absolutely could. £2.50. Oh, it would, it would dye absolutely fine if you were to use, you know, one of those washing dyes. It'd be great. What for? Size to size what? There's no, no patterns on there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really conscious of my nails. <gasps> there you go. You can see to size comparison how small the natural seeded, the natural seeded scale is. There you go. I don't know what you need to scale this for. <laughs> the seed. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, Kat wanted to see how big the natural seeded fleck is. It's all different because some of them are a lot bigger. Some of them are a lot different. She's now really trying to explain to me. Thank you. No. Oh, my word, I'm not being argumentative. She's like, I'm just going to stop trying then. It's great to embroider onto it because it's got quite a loose weave. So it means that you're going to be able to see with embroidery, this is absolutely ideal. And look at how affordable it is. Look at how affordable it is. It's going to be great with all of your beautiful threads. Imagine just having this as your base, doing maybe your botanical, um, your botanical pictures with some of these. <gasps> I love them. Can we start with the variegated? This one is XSZW39. Sorry. So you've got eight meters and 36 skeins. Look at all of these beautiful rainbow colors. But what I love as well is that you're still getting all of these lovely um, browns and earthy tones. This is going to be perfect with the Simply Stitch embroidery and with the botanical embroidery. All of these colors are brilliant. So eight meter skeins. Suitable for cross stitch, embroidery, braiding, hair wraps, just $9.99. What does that make our price per skein? Yeah, it says hair bands here, hair wraps. What's that? Hair wraps. Oh, hair braids. Yeah, we always used to have them on holiday. 36, please. We're at 27 pence a skein. Uh, look, don't get me wrong. I do know, look, we've got DMC skeins. Our DMC skeins that are, they're beautiful quality. Um, they are amazing. They're $1.99 a skein. These would be brilliant for someone who just maybe doesn't, who just wants to start out embroidery to have a bit of a taster of all of these different colours. Don't get me wrong, you might then want to have a go and see the difference of how it feels with your DMC thread. Still beautiful quality from Trimits, but um, it is obviously at 22 pence a skein, a bit of a bargain. And they're variegated as well. They are variegated. I love these blues. They're going to look beautiful. So for those of you that don't know what variegated, it will just literally sort of change colour um, across the skein. All eight metres each. That's a lot of thread to keep you going, isn't it? The bright next, which is Liam's favourite, is these ones. Eight metres on each skein. We've got these lovely earthy tones, great for all of your, uh, for, for all of your botanical projects. Even if you're doing toy making, these are useful to have to do any of the faces. Just little French knots on a pattern fabric even. Just adds texture and looks beautiful. £9.99 for 36 of your stranded cotton bright skeins. And these got lovely corals and red, your more earthy tones, your grey. Even though these are called black, uh, bright, you've got some real great neutrals in there as well. You've got loads. You can't even see them all. There's like a, a third layer in between, by the way. <laughs> so there's so many different colours. There you go. So you've got black and white and everything in there. Just £9.99. And the last one is your pastels. 
let's look at it this way. Still got black and white. You still got lovely. What about babies? These are so cute. $9.99 for 36 skeins. Oh, I think these would be beautiful for the Fat Quarter Toys book that we've got in the corner there. These would be lovely. You could make something up and you can embroider over the top of it. Oh, you need to make something for Adam. Adam, who uh, works as one of our cam ups over on Jewelry Maker, he's just had twins. Boy and a girl, he's first as well. First children and they are twins. And they're doing really, really well. How old, how old are they now? Got to be nearly a week. Five, six days old, they're home and all good. Adorable, you need to make something for them. Absolutely good idea, Liam. Eight metres on each skein, 36 skeins for 9 99 Oh gosh, he's going to be busy, 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 isn't he? Is anybody at home a twin or do you have twins or triplets? Oh gosh, when we found out it was like, oh my word, Adam. Handful, handful, handful. Right, so don't forget the Osnaberg is selling like hotcakes. Hundreds now gone. We started with a massive quantity on these. Uh, I think we had near a thousand units. So don't worry, there's plenty of stock available, but make the most of it. Uh, now, thread organizer box. This is great value for money. You get your storage box. Hang on, is it this one? This is really good price, $9.99. So you get your organizing box. Oops. You get nice and neatly, <laughs> nice and tidy, all these bobbins, a hundred, a hundred of all of your bobbins. And then, hang on, how much did you say the DMC threads are? One ninety nine dollars each. You're getting one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get ten. Ten of your DMC skeins, which are phenomenal quality. So there, I mean, there's your ten pounds. Well, no. Should be twenty pounds just for those. So you're paying half price for your threads and you're getting your storage and all of your little um, winders for free. Now it's a great place to, it is a, a good habit to get into, winding them onto the bobbin, keeping them all nice and neat so then you can see what colours you've got. Sorry, my um, tidy up in head, my tidy up in head is telling me to try and get these a bit more organised. Um, you've also got hundred of those little bobbins, hundred, so you can fit hundred. And then can you see you've got the larger compartment as well to put any of your maybe embroidery snips, any of your little needles. Do you know what else would fit in here? Maybe. Um, yeah, I reckon it would, literally perfect. Your bobbin winder. So this is your thread winder. Let's do it next. So if you've got this box, this is, I think, new. The Millwood one, it, I think it's new, you know. But look how satisfying this is. In fact, that's exactly what they're storing in here, your winder. Kate's messaging about some Osnaberg. She uses Osnaberg for her embroidery. Calico is stiffer and often used for quilt backings. There you go, thank you. I like Osnaberg or linen for embroidery. Lovely, thank you for that. And that's so affordable, isn't it? £2.50. Oh yes, so you can send in photographs. Oh, send them in on the fan page. Thank you for putting some photos as well. I'll have a look at those after the show. Um, the code on this is NKZW06. We've got this really new cool tool. Um, tool or toy, a bit of both. Um, so obviously you can put your tape measure, you put your scissors and you can keep your little thread winder in there. I'm hoping we can do this. Is it on the website or has it not been booked in yet? We might need to come back to that one. That's it. Have you got it? Fantastic. So if you see on the back, you can see how this works. Can you see this photograph? So this is our new tool. This is the toy that's, uh, that sits on the side of your case. You put your bobbin card in the one side of it. There's your thread. It's also got another little wheel dial there that you wind round and you wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. 
So that's great for all of your embroidery skeins. It's only two ninety nine. I mean, we can't even afford to sort of sit talking about this on television because airtime is expensive. But just thought I'd let you know, especially when loads of you have just bought this. That is a great little add-on, especially if you've already paid three ninety five for your posting packaging. Great little add-on, and it will get you nice and organised. Maybe if you've got the thirty six skeins as well, you've got all of those ten skeins of your DMC. Maybe a bit of Osnaberg, and but. Maybe your hoops, maybe your seat hoop, or if you just want a smaller hoop or a, a handheld one. I know a lot of people like to hang these as well. They work nice as like frames for your embroidery work to hang up once you're finished. So this one is 9.6 inches or in centimetres, 24 centimetres. Lovely quality, your wooden embroidery hoop. That's just £5.99. That is just £5.99. pence. Pardon? Oh, it's 9.6. It's 9.6, sorry. About the um, the mistake on the, the graphics. 24 centimetres or 9.6 inches. Then the 20 centimetre one, just to keep... I know a lot of people who do cross-stitch and embroidery without a hoop, but I think it keeps it all nice and taut. Taut. I do like that word, taut. This is eight inch, sorry, slightly wrong on the, uh, the graphics again. Just got our measurements slightly out there. This is eight inch, eight inch, which is 20 centimeters. <laughs> Liam's saying that 0.2 of an inch matters. It does, he's not laughing, it does matter. <gasps> that's, so that's your eight inch hoop. And then we've also got the, yeah, it's 5.8 inches. 14 and a half centimetres, they've got that one right. So this is your smaller hoop. But these are lovely to be able to, um, to hang. These are nice to be able to hang as wall hangings, aren't they? Maybe your botanical gardens, you could simply just gift it and hang it. Oh, 3 99 Cat made her boyfriend an embroidery um, piece in a hoop like this. What was it? A little hot air balloon. Oh, that's lovely. But you didn't go in a hot air balloon with your boyfriend, you went with your brother. <laughs> 3 99 that's for the smaller hoop. Don't forget about that seat one as well, the seat clamp, because that was brilliant. Now, um, a couple of lighting options, because that's a really big part of stitching, isn't it? Especially as we're getting to these dark mornings and dark nights. Uh, it's getting darker earlier, isn't it? So it's, it's really important to be able to make sure that we've got the correct uh, lighting. Now, this can be completely sort of manipulated and you can have it as three different positions. So you can have it as a clamp like this. You can have it as a big stand. Oh, thank you, cat. I'm going to clamp this onto the desk. I've really hurt my thumb yesterday and it's, it really hurts when I try and clamp anything. Oh, I... Um, I'm not going to say because it's quite gory, but I've hurt, like, I've cut un wet underneath my nail. Have you ever done that before? I haven't ate, no. I've cut underneath my nail. Something went under it and cut across there. Oh, yeah, it's not nice. So there's your table, uh, the, your floor stand, and it also comes with an additional pole, a longer pole that you can then put, so you can have it as a floor lamp, you can have it as um, a, a, a clip clamp, Clip clamp. <laughs> Why did that sound strange? It's true. Um, I, I want to try and flip this over somehow. Let me um, spin it round so you can see the different lights. So you've got all of these different lights, so the warm ones as well. And then you've also got the daylight ones, which are great, the white lights. Um, the natural light, which will give you lovely, realistic colours, because quite often, if you're if you're stitching um, on a morning and then you're stitching in the evening, if you're stitching at different times of day, then sometimes it's hard to be able to match the uh, the right colours. Sorry, was that a weird angle? Me looking at you. Um, can I show you the magnifying? Because it isn't just a light; it also is great for your visibility. I'm not going to put it near my face. No. What I will do is I'll take an image. Let's try, let's try and put a book behind it so you can see. Um, where do you want me to do it? So there you go. Oh! So you can see really, really clearly how well that magnifies. 
you can literally see every individual stitch on that. Thank you. And obviously if I move further away, it gets even uh, more magnified. Whoops. All your little French knots, which if you are stitching, that is going to be invaluable. Um, I quite like these even as like little reading lights or cross stitch if you're doing anything that's quite intricate. Um, on our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, these are always extremely, extremely popular. Whenever they come on air, they always sell out on our sister channel because for, for small beading work, any sort of, uh, you know, seed beads or bead embroidery, then these are ideal. So look, yeah, um, Liam's a producer over at Jury Maker and he said, I'm going to start telling everybody. Um, so if you are just reading any small print or small text, do you know sometimes when you get... Uh, different ingredients or if you get things like beauty products so you just want to see what ingredients are in it and it's in the tiniest print this is just going to be handy to have in the house isn't it $73.99 and it's great quality especially with the light as well so you've got that touch light see how much brighter that is so there's the warm light and there's the natural daylight and it's not going to get hot at all Oh, my ring looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Just seventy three ninety nine. <laughs> right. Yeah, can I just carry around this magnifying glass with me? Right. Let's turn this off. Um, have you noticed as well, it hasn't got the, the lead in, so it's it's actually rechargeable. So you can plug it into the socket, you get the charger, so you can use it whilst it's plugged in. You don't need to wait for it to be charged up like some of them. Um, you can use it whilst you're charging, or if you don't have many sockets in your home, I don't. I don't have enough of them. Some of the new homes have got sockets everywhere. I have got sockets, but they're always in funny points of the room or behind furniture, and I can't get to them. So it's handy to just be able to know that, right, at night I can plug it in and I know that um, I'm going to be able to just take this on the move. Handy to have your, your floor stand as well. Right. Um, let's do the other little lamp. Um, I like this as a little bedtime lamp. If you just want to be able to read um, in the lounge with other people and do a bit of sociable stitching or sociable sewing or sociable reading, you just want your own little light, your own little desk lamp. I'm going to plug this in. Bear with me whilst I just go down into the basement. Uh, right, so, this is a nice new one as well. I'm just taking the packaging off. No, I can't, my legs. Um, so there you go. It's just got a little button on the top which will turn your light on. You've got a nice bright LED white light again. And look at how flexible your arm is. Yep, yeah, goes completely, whoa, sorry, you do those stretches to you. Gosh, that was like me. That reminds me on the beach in Thailand having a Thai mass massage, being literally, as if anybody's ever had a Thai massage, you get, pulled left right and center ha have you of course and were you pulled in really strange positions oh it's so odd so odd right so you've also got it's really good it just makes you um yeah looser also space to put your uh your pens Obviously, you've got your little dish here as well to put any of your extra little bits and bobs, maybe your pin cushion or something. £16.99. Oh, by the way, somebody's found my um, thing on the voice. I'm pleased that you know when I was on it and I don't. In fact, you must have found the exact date. It's funny, I was saying to uh, Liam the other day that when I did do the voice, there was the lady who was doing our choreography and halfway through... We go, come on, like getting everybody to get involved. And the woman said to the choreographer, I just don't really like the come on part. Instead, can you do a whoopee or a whoopa? Or just a simple clap like this. And I was like, how are they any better than my come on? Come on, everyone. So yeah, when you watch it back, please know that, yeah, the whoopees and the whoopahs aren't that natural. <laughs> They're all really choreographed. Uh, so that's your little hobby lamp, your pure light LED with your accessory tray. It has got a really nice long extension cord as well and a little 
light button there. £16.99 with your accessory tray. <laughs> oh no, is everybody literally di diving into the archives and finding me online? Oh. Whilst you're there, um, you should have a look on, um, no, on uh, Michael Wolf, who's a cameraman on a uh, jewellery maker, and me and him have been doing some duets through lockdown. So they're on his page, which is Michael Wolf Music and TV, I think. Music and TV. Okay. The A3 LED light box um, is slightly larger, obviously, than the one that we were looking at. We were looking at the, um, the A4 one. So this is slightly bigger. It isn't under here. Or is it? I don't think it is, but I am always... Uh, no, cats. I think found it. Thank you. It comes in a lovely box like this. Massive box, by the way. But you're not going to pay any extra on postage and packaging, which is great, isn't it? So let's have a look at the box, actually, because we've, we've seen the, the light box and how it works. Um, a3 size, it's really nice and lightweight, it is dimmable, you can use it with a USB stick, um, it's got 50,000 hours of, uh, without having to change any bulbs, which I love about it, and it's energy saving. So, are you trying to work out how long 15,000 hours? That's 625 days if you were to use it solidly 24 hours a day. You've also got that nice little handy tape measure around, which is great, isn't it? You've got the, the tape measure going around. Let me just plug them back in because I've unplugged it to do the other lamp. Um, it comes with your, I'll show you the difference in size. There's your A4 and there's your A3. So if you do transfer larger pieces, it's still lovely and lightweight and you can obviously just store it away nice and uh, and carefully. I would be careful with it, even though it isn't glass, um, just from experience. We, um, yeah, we, I would say put it back into the box or, or store it nice and safely because you do want to look after it. Now, there's a little um, plug on the side. There we go. And a little blue light will appear. Then we've got one, two, three levels of brightnesses. Just turning down the lights here in the studio so you can see just how lovely and bright that is. Sorry, it's just hard to try and pick up the, uh, the different lights at home, but you can see for transferring any of your patterns, I'll turn it off again so you can see the difference. There's off, first light. So it is nice and dimmable as well. Oh, is it easier if you see it with the, uh, the, the house lights off? I'm gonna put a, a, a transfer over it as well, a template. So there you go, that's really nice and bright now. So that's off, first light. Second light, third light. Just depends on you know how what your paper's like, what you're transferring, and how to see through it. So it is just instantly going to you're going to be able to see straight through. However, you're transferring your patterns. If you're transferring it onto any of your fabrics, is this how you would do it then? So I just transfer that straight onto my fabric. Then you get uh, whatever marking tool you have, maybe your, your friction pen or whatever your cho choice is, maybe it be chalk, and then get stitching. So uh, light boxes are really handy because if I take that away, if I turn it off, it makes it a lot more difficult. There you go, you can't, you can't really see it. Um, you would have to hold it up to a window or you know use a different way of, of transferring them. Obviously these are iron-on templates, so but not all of them are iron-on transfers, are they? Okay. Gosh, yeah. Children at school now, they don't realise, like, that. I wonder, I wonder whether it's just all, um, is it all just on computer? Electric boards. Liam was saying, remember when we used to wheel out the projector screen? Yeah, to do all the song lyrics in assembly. Oh, I used to be on like um, duty. To, uh, I, everybody used to fight over who could be on duty to change the page of the protector. Absolutely. Oh, back in our day. Don't we sound old, don't we? <laughs> oh, no. I never pretended that I was naughty at school. I was so good. 
No, that's you, Liam. He is um, officially the bad boy of the building. But at school he wasn't. At school he wasn't. Can I just very, very quickly, before we do um, th these double-ended ones, these are your double tip sent with a central eye. They're back in stock. Um, they're from Hemline and they're fantastic. Because you know when I was talking about being hands-free, they're $1.99 so we can't stay too long. But if you imagine, there's your thread going through the centre. And then, if you imagine, <laughs> I don't know how to show you, but you've got your hoop. If you've got your table clamp or your seat clamp, if you're stitching hands-free, you can just pass the... Just go for it, because if you, oh no, I'm going to get on a kerfuffle. I just wanted to, to show you, because I, I thought these are brilliant, and we, I've not seen, I hadn't seen them before. So if, if they've got a point, pointed on, end on both sides of the needle, basically. So if you're then passing through, you don't need to then flip your needle around to go back through. It's so much quicker to just go down, up, pass back through, pass back through, pass back through, if you know what I mean. Was that a good demo? <laughs> Um, the table clamps are available, they're on the website. Your hand needles are just one ninety nine for all three of those uh, embroidery double tip pack. One ninety nine. Okay, they're back in stock. I've only seen those one before. Now, talking of transferable um, marking tools, are they all individual? No bundles? Right, they're individual available. The black is great. I have done full demos of these recently over the last week. Um, you can use it. Oh, they're fantastic. They're not a pen, Liam. So much more. So you can use it, obviously, on your... Um, I can't do it on the table. But you can use it on your paper. It's got an eraser on the end. You can use it on any of your... <laughs> any of your fabrics. Have a go and check that you're happy with the, the way that it disappears. But for embroidery, these are ideal. It's only £3.99. And that's black because it's going to go with majority of your fabrics. If you do want more colours to play around with, I think these are great. You know when you are writing out important documents where they say, right, you need to do it in black ink or blue ink or something, but you, you're really conscious that you're going to make mistakes. Well, I always am. It really helps to be able to just go, right, actually, do you know what? I can erase it. So there's your red, and it's literally like a ballpoint. So it's, I find it less messy than, than different. I find it a bit less. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people choose to use chalk, and we have got chalk available as well. But uh, this is the blue. But I find it's less messy. And you just compress it, and the markings will disappear. But also... If you think, right, I don't really want to be pressing my embroidery, I don't want to flatten it, then maybe it isn't going to be a friction pen that you use. But dressmakers, bag makers, toy makers, quilters, I know all absolutely love these. You heard Faye talking earlier on about how much she loves them. And then the green, just very quickly, um, is $3.99 again. Thank you, Kat. $3.99. So another choice of marking pens, which I know a lot of people use, and what I actually really like about this particular one, uh, my thing and my faff with chalk was always that it was quite messy to carry around, carry in your bag, and when you're when you're you're marking on it, I thought, I don't know whether I'm gonna get it um, very accurate. Whereas this is brilliant because it still writes like a pen. So it comes in a nice little carry case. It's got Ow, my thumb. It's got um, a nice little tip, so it's already, you've got a sharpener as well, so you can sharpen it as well. And then, to change it, you've got the eraser on the end, so you can rub out, and then you've got all of your, there you go, so to remove it, you press it down, hold it, and then you can just remove any of the colours that are going to, uh, to, to show up on your fabric, and then again, to refill it. Just do that. It's so much less messy, isn't it? just $14.99. I just find I get a bit covered in chalk everywhere when I'm using a traditional chalking marker, so these are brilliant. We've got some refills as well. Every time these have come into stock, they've sold very, 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 very well. The refills that you will need the pen. Um, I know the picture looks like there's a pen. Let's ignore that because there's no pen in here. You need the pen one to, to get first and then you've got the refills, all of your colours, plus your white ones. So you're getting 16 chalk refills. 6 99 It's going to go a long way, isn't it? 
Are you warm? I'm ever so cold today. I don't know what's wrong with me. My hands, cold hands, warm heart though, they say, don't they? Um, so you can, of course, mix that in. Right, the rose gold ones, the silver ones. Oh, we're talking to Faye about having a good pair of dressmaking shears. These are, oh, Actually, do you know what? They're not as weighty as I expected them to be. They've got great weight to them, don't get me wrong. But they, they look very, very nice indeed and look very, very shiny. So, these are your 10 and a half inch Millwood shears. Let's do the snip test. Oh, I just love that satisfying sound. Now, obviously, they're great to be weighty because you don't want to do your, your cutting up here. You do your cutting flat to the desk. So, to be able to get that really good snip as you're going along um they're fantastic now these aren't micro serrated which means that you can sharp as far as i'm aware no they're not so therefore you can use these to sharpen in your fiscal's scissors sharpener that we've got on the website you can sharpen them at home i know a lot of uh, you know big professional oh it's sold out um we'll get that back in we will get it back in but it's always been very very popular the scissors sharpener sold out but can you see how this is just balancing against the desk as well $16.99 for your heavy duty dressmaking shears. This would be a great gift for somebody. That would be a lovely gift for someone. It comes like this. Somebody just getting into dressmaking. It makes such a difference. Um, I know I've said this a lot, but the amount of times when I first started in the crafting world, I could not believe everybody's obsession with scissors. I was like, why has everyone got 20 pairs of scissors? Surely one scissor does all. And that was like, oh, no, you could not be fur further from the truth. Oh, that was honestly, I made a massive mistake saying that. So I learned very, very quickly, no, we need different scissors for different jobs. And it does make so much sense. If you're cutting through your beautiful Liberty fabrics or any of your fabrics, dressmaking fabrics, you don't want to do it with your paper scissors because they might be blunt and you'll end up slashing and hacking into your fabric. So they are absolutely ideal. We've also got the rose gold pack, which are beautiful because they um, come with some little extras as well. So you've got your lovely dressmaking shears. You've also then got a pair of embroidery snips, some pins and a thimble. If you're doing hand sewing, Kat will tell you, I'll oh, get into the habit of using your thimble. Um, but these are really lovely quality, again from Millwood and in that rose gold colour. Um, they are right-handed scissors, they snip beautifully. They aren't as weighty as the silver ones, but they've still got great sort of weight to them. They're not flimsy by any means. Plus, you've got your lovely detailed rose gold snips. You've got your thimble. And you're getting your little pins as well. So it's a lovely little gift pack, isn't it, from Millwood? Really nice little, um, really nice little gift set. If you're thinking of stocking up for Christmas, I know a lot of people who are doing their Christmas shopping nice and early. My mom is nearly done. I can't believe it. Oh, Liam's mom started her Christmas shopping in January. My mom said, you know, with things the way that they are at the moment, I just want to make sure that I'm really organised this year. I want to be done and organised because um, I know somebody was messaging in saying they were standing outside the shop waiting, queuing up outside to go in, watching us on the, uh, on the Facebook stream. So I thought, oh, if it's going to be busy Christmas shopping and queuing up outside in the snow and the rain, Enjoy whilst you can deals like this from the comfort of your own home. Absolutely. $19.99. Definitely worth taking advantage of these prices. Um, right. Was there anything else that I wanted to quickly mention? Em embroidery. Can we quickly show this? I know that I've got literally about a minute to talk about this. It's your dome, ne ne uh, dome threaded needle case. And if you are doing hand sewing, you can actually thread 10 different needles, different colours or the same colour, um, just pre-thread them. Maybe you could get somebody else to thread them. If you, you're struggling to thread uh, the eye of a needle, then it will store away really nice and neatly. And it's great because it, it's nice and compact. So what you do, um, Kat's got one of these and she absolutely loves it. So you need to put it, firstly, your thread around here. They're all numbered as well. So you put your thread around here. So this one says number one. You slot it in round the hook, slot it into there, hold it in place so it keeps the tension 
and spin it round and that will wind that thread so then it's completely tangle free, all encased. If you're taking it on the move, you haven't got um, your, your needle stuck into the, the side of your sofa or anything like that. I think it's a great gift for somebody and anybody who does a lot of hand sewing, you will love this, especially if you struggle you know, or, or find it a bit of a faff to keep threading needles. You could just do that ready to go. Right, it's been amazing being back with you today. I haven't seen you for a few days, so um, I look forward to being back with you next week. Tomorrow's show though, I think Debbie, yeah, Debbie's back, we've missed her, haven't we? So you can have your Debbie fix tomorrow morning, eight o'clock with Angela Presley. Oh, she texts me yesterday. She's got a great show coming up, the summer bag with Angela. You've then also got panels and more coming up with Debbie at nine o'clock. Plus the sun hat with Angela Presley. We've got the overlocker coming up, I believe, um, in one of those shows as well. Sewing room tools. It might be the overlocker in that show. I know Liam said the overlocker's coming up tomorrow. Plus, um, we'll be repeating the Miss Tunic, um, this one with, that we just did with, with Faye. So do watch, um, watch that one back. Coming up in the next hour, you will, have, you will see yesterday's replay, which was Wendy Orlando um, with the lovely little book bag. Uh, the book bags? Bug bags, the uh, all those playmats and things, they were brilliant with John. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you on Monday morning.